I'll see you guys in one minute. In the chat, anyway. Um, things are looking good here. Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. I'm, what? I'm, I'm going to kick you off the um, the voice what? chat. What? What do I do? Well, no. you're, you're playing in the tournament, so uh, you can't just, just make me Just make another voice channel. I did. Yeah. Okay, fine. You can Whoa. stay here, and we're going to go into the stream voice channel. Wait, I'm good. I'm, okay, yeah, but I'm outside. Wait, don't leave yet. Why? No, I'm going to put you in this the stream oh, yeah, voice channel me. with me. Drag me. Yeah. yeah, drag me. All right. You here? Yep. Okay, cool. That worked well. Thanks for the follow. Also, I got a new follow. Um, oh, I can The Filmster. Da Filmster. Thanks for the follow, man. Cool. I need to change my music as well, so I don't want get get muted when I do a replay on this. We're going to do the StarCraft Legacy of the Void soundtrack. Because it's so good. Yes. Oh, yes. That, that puts me in the mood for destruction. All right. So, let's see here. We got seven minutes until I shuffle the bracket. I have to actually figure out how to do that. Manage check-ins, process check-in results early. Show phone description. Drag and drop participants to swap their positions. This bracket is a preview and subject to change until the tournament is started. Hmm. How do I shuffle the bracket? Oh, I know. When when the check-in period ends, it will give me the option to do it. Probably. Yeah. I'll um. Here's my screen capture. This is what I'm looking at right now. I'm not looking at this page because this page shows up randomly. Um. I'm outside, so I can't see. Anything. All right. Well, for everybody else, this is the challenge website. Great for making a bracket. Um. Starcraft Two Plan Below Tournament. 40, 20. We had seven players up here. Yeah, once it hits 6 p.m. in five minutes, I'll get uh, start the tournament or shuffle the bracket. And you'll be able to uh, invite me to the game, right? Yeah, yeah on on um, Starcraft. Starcraft. Yeah, through Starcraft. Yeah. Everything's yeah, through that. Good. Okay. <clears throat> Oracle is here. Good, good, good. I have, yeah, I have to leave general chat. General chat is t terrible. <laughs> yeah, you don't want a lot of chat coming up during the stream. No, not really. So I got Captain Club Back to the good microphone. Yeah, that is a good microphone. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see six players in the Prometheum chat. Not quite sure who I'm missing yet. Let me figure that out. They could be just getting on it. You know, yeah. Still. Yeah. I see Oracle. I see Schmitzatron. <laughs> I don't, Positron, I don't know who that is. He's not in there. It might be him. Sauerkraut is in there. Captain Club is in there. Duranda. Who's Duranda? Uh, I got Duranda. And Slayer SC. Um, so as far as I know, I'm missing Slayer SC and Positron in the uh, Prometheum channel. We'll see. All right. Maybe I'm Ugh, gotta do my precast stretches. Ugh. And gotta turn this a little bit there. Did you just pop a beer? I did. I did one. I'm gonna wait. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the other. Wait for any more until after the tournament, I think. I won't be drinking that much. Eh, go for it. My 
speech too much. <laughs> yeah, I want to speech good for the stream. Yeah. Now, when I, you know me, when I actually play StarCraft, I look <laughs> back at my streams, I'm like, oh, man, that was bad. <laughs> Yeah, what happened? Oh. I went in so normal. Yeah, <laughs> I came out like fucking. I went in normal, started feeling good. Uh, to filmster, you're Slayer too. Thank you. All right, sounds good. All right, good, good, good. Well, that's not there. All right. Um. All right. Who's this defilmster person anyway? Match history. All right. One v ones. Wins. What is this? All right. All right. All right. We're getting close. Oh, it's going to be a good stream. We're about to get some good games in here. Yeah. I'm a little uh, suspect of DeFilmster, though. His, uh, his border is unranked, and he is soundly beating diamond three players so we'll see how this goes i want to learn more about that <laughs> bracket is not live yet oh yeah i forgot i'm looking at your stream too <laughs> it's so <laughs> delayed <laughs> yeah yeah really delayed i forgot <laughs> Broken my l knife, just slid into the server. All right, that's 6 p.m. your time. 6 p.m. All right, let's pull up the bracket. And so just hit refresh here. All participants checked in. Process check in. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven players. You said I've placed Diamond 3 under EU before. Yeah. Is that not allowed? Yeah, to Filmster, I'm sorry. Yeah, we are doing a, just a Platinum and under. It's, Damn. It says that in the in the tournament. We are going to be running We are going to be running a, an open one soon. Though. Yeah. Yeah, we we did a Diamond and below like a week ago, or 2 weeks ago. And we're going to run an open one, but Yeah, man. Yeah, I was looking at your your match history and you're like you had like a 10 win streak against diamond threes. So that's solid diamond. And we just want want platinum for this. Even if you off race, it doesn't matter. If Sorry, you, dude. If you've been diamond or below or diamond ever, not this week. Sorry, man. Schmitzatron, um, post the link to the crowd. Sure, it's, uh, yeah, give me one second here. Eternal Empire, Zen, Simulacrum, Nightshade. Those are your four new maps. And then from the last map pool, Triton, Ephemeron, and World of Sleepers. So how it works, if you guys are still on the stream, um, the first person in the bracket will veto a map. The second person will veto a map. The first person will veto a map. The second place person will veto a map. And then the first person will pick a map to play, right? That'll leave you with three maps left, best of three on those remaining maps. Uh, loser picks the next map. Um, and I guess. So we have to, all right, so who was uh, DeFilmster? What's your, your Slayer SC2? Okay, 
That makes things somewhat easy. Nope, Slayer SC2. I don't know how Next to. Next time you'll be in for the moment, man. I don't know Sorry. how to delete you from the bracket, actually. But the way I have it up now, it's Schmitzatron, Captain Club, Durandal versus Warracle, and Sauerkraut versus Positron. And uh, Slayer SC2 is just up there. All right, we're starting it. Welcome to tonight's StarCraft II tournament, hosted by Prometheum and me, ATC Killer. ATC Killer. Hey, actually, I'm ATC Racer, I think. Uh, you know, you're ATC Killer. Are you? Am I Killer? Oh yeah, because they won't let me change my name without yeah. paying eight bucks. Eh, you're you're an ATC guy. You can do it. Okay, the bracket is now live, guys. That's true. We have Schmitztron versus Captain Club, Durandal versus Warracle, and Sauerkraut versus Positron. Round one. Sl Fight. Slayer SC2 is out. He ha has placed into diamond, so he's out. Um, I'm going to show the bracket on the stream. You can use exclamation point bracket to pull it up yourself or exclamation point discord to get in all the action. Um, da -da -da. All right. So here we are. Slayer SC2, SC2 is dead. All right. Bracket is live. It is live. Okay. And we are going to cast... Uh, Sauerkraut versus Positron in the first game. So let me, uh, all right, let me get that party together here. Where are you? Where's Sauerkraut? Oh, it's that guy again. <laughs> Liberate HK. Invite to party. Oh, no. Uh, are you in the Prometheum channel? Type in sl forward slash join, but I'm friends with you. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I got you. Invite to party. And who did I say he's playing against? Positron. Who's Positron? Po Where's Positron? Is that maybe Liberate HK? No, he's Sauerkraut. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Positron. What's your username in game? Oh, Z, Z Croissant, you're Positron? Quit changing your name. What the? <laughs> what the crap? Z Croissant. Okay, so. All right, we've got all four of us here in the party now. Go to SC2 gameplay. Let's go to intermission here. All at once. And then report the results in uh, in the in-game chat. Okay, cool. Excellent. All right, Oracle's got a question about the ABA vo voting working. So, just one second. we're ready all right we got to do the map vetoes all right in our party yeah. and uh sauerkraut is top right he is yeah okay so sauerkraut all 
First map Vita. I should write them down. <laughs> None. <sighs> well, all right. All right, he skipped his. So I will cancel World of Sleepers for him. Cuz I want to see <laughs> cuz I, I want to see the new maps. Oh, wait, your Sarakar rip. <laughs> Ephemeron, Nightshade, Zen, Sim, Eternal Empire. One, two, three, four, five, six, and Triton. All right, he's got no. <laughs> Just random match three. Okay, well. Random match three. Yeah. Okay. Well. We'll pick him. Yeah, we'll pick him. All right. Sweet. They don't care. We'll pick him. Yep. Uh, create with mod. Uh, WCS Gameheart. <laughs> Is it fast ghosts? <laughs> sure. All right, we're going to do Zen first. Hold on. It's stuck in downloading 98%. Okay, that's fine. Jesus. Goddamn Blizzard servers. Yeah, they're new new maps, so nobody has them yet. They're not out on the new patch. Once the new patch pushes, everybody will have the maps. Oh, it is slow after. Oh. Did it kick you? No, it's going. It just went to 98% now, just slowed down, just, but, but it should be done in a second. There, it, there is. it is. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry, uh, you gotta f yeah, fix that. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay, ready? All right. Let me Round make, one. Let me make sure my overlay observer and replay. Yep, WCS 3.0. Return to game. Cool. Going uh, to be right. Liberate HK versus Z Croissant. <laughs> We'll call him Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut versus Z Croissant. Liberate HK. Sauerkraut. He said he didn't have a preference. <laughs> Wait, this map? Hmm. Nope. That's not how that works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They didn't have a preference, so. Give up your veto. It's done. All, All right. right, let's go. So we have Terran versus Zaprotas. No. The croissant is the, is the Protoss. He is. He's, he's pretty good, too. He uh, doesn't play really cheeky. He just macros up and then... That yeah, macros will win you the game sometimes. Yeah, but... <laughs> All right. In the top right, in the red Protoss, we have Z Croissant. I'm following your thing. From the Please sure. Die clan. <laughs> 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 with, Please die. With a nice shiny Battlecruiser trophy. On his Nexus, on his Protoss Nexus. Okay, so that's cool. <laughs> In the bottom left, Terran. Purple, his favorite color. BB. He's not saying pause, please, is he? Be back. Or is he saying baby? Anyway, he's a weird, but we love him anyway. Sauerkraut. <laughs> oh, sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, looks like a normal build out of sauerkraut. Supply Depot. Barracks at the front. Nope. And, uh, okay, Z, Z Croissant built his pylon and his gateway over here because this entire area right here is actually a, le a Reaper cliff. And you have to block this entire thing, otherwise, Reapers can jump up there. And the Reaper cliffs, they, they are it's, massive. It's, that is huge to block huge. off, actually. Like, I think really in. Smart. In the other maps, in the current maps, oh, we have a gas steel down down here. We'll see if that slows him down. It might. I think he took that. Is he? Oh, okay. He he locked him out with the supply depot. 
But yeah, All right. if, uh, that was a good block on that uh, scout there. Okay, he is building another barracks, so I think he is going to build a shit ton of Reapers. We'll see what happens, but yeah. All right. I do love them Reapers. <laughs> yeah, me too. Be BCs, Z Croissant says. <laughs> Warping into your base. Here we come. Soon. All right. All right. So it's like... Got a cybernetic score going down right next to the way the Yeah, I think he still needs one or maybe even two more buildings to block off that Reaper ledge. Yeah. Oh, he's, he, he's right not even it. making a Reaper. He, he's got a Marine. Uh, two Marines to build the, uh, or to kill the, uh, that was dirty, though. Yeah, it is very dirty, yeah. It, it that almost... was dirty to put that there. So the response is. All right, he'll he'll drop he'll drop a uh, mule. Yeah. Get some more economy going while he fucks him up. Too. Since he go. is delayed on his gas income, he built three barracks, which he's gonna build just a shit ton of marines. It looks like. Yeah. The bad thing is that Z Croissant just scouted it. He lifted his building so that he could build that tech lab right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the probe got in, and I think it saw. It did. It did see all three barracks. So, what is the defense for Z Croissant? Is the question. If he knows a shit ton of Marines are coming with stim and combat shields, he's sending another probe across the map just to like verify. But he should Two know. Two more gateways. He should know what's what's up. Pylon and a Stargate. Um, yeah, oh, the oracles, yeah. Oracles um, yep. will probably get into the mineral line and do a lot of economic damage. Yep. What are these marines doing out here? Are we out to the north? All right, we do have an expansion going down for Nordy or for Sauerkraut, though. Yeah. Uh, he's going to get that probe that scouts it, so. Shoot him. Get him. There get he him. goes. Get him. Guys with guns, man. Guys okay. with guns is right. <laughs> so the response is a pylon and two shield batteries at the front out of uh, Z Here comes the Oracle, too. Yeah, he's going to come around, and I bet you he's going to get at least nine kills. Uh, there's a couple Marines in the main base, but still zap, zap, zap away. That's a lot of Marines already being built. Maybe not nine kills. I'm going to say six worker kills with the Oracle. All Here. right, he's going to hang out for a second. So... <sighs> Z Croissant is way ahead on on Ooh, he, harvesters right now. He's got a missile um, turret. He's got a missile turret coming just in time. Not quite just in time. No. Does he see? He's just got to hold off for a second. Oh. Shoot him! Oh no! They're just running. Yeah, they were. Yeah, kind of a miss microed oracle. He could have got a lot more worker kills, and he could have got yeah. the worker building the missile turret. Right. That would have been huge. That would have been big. Yeah. So I think he only lost one SCV to that. Yeah, believe. and then maybe two marines, and one is, one one literally has one hit point left. That guy's <laughs> like, his mechanical suit's hanging on by one bolt or something. Let's see. Let's Looks see. like uh, Sauerkraut's got a little higher APM, so making some moves, but definitely on the uh, the backhand right now. Yeah. After you All know right. losing some gas, but he's got a good marine army building up right now. Yeah. So the thing is... Stim on the way. Stim on the way. That's going to be big. Yeah, we'll see if he does a push-out timing with this. Um, he doesn't have any other up upgrades. He's got plus one arm armor coming behind the Stim. Stim is done now, and he starts up combat shields right away, so that's good. Yep, I like that. Um, oh, he's Looks got... like he's going to be walking into a yeah. qu quite a big... Uh, I mean, we got a lot of stalkers. What, four stalkers, that's... sentry... And the two shield batteries. So, okay, Protoss yep. units are half shields and half life, yep. right? So this Stalker's 80 and 80. These shield batteries right here will recharge a Protoss <laughs> unit's shields almost instantly. This map yep. is funky. It's got these, like, you don't want to fight up this ramp because these mineral... Oh, God, okay. So it's right, going to come in there. Stims in anyway. Kills a Stalker. Kills two Stalkers. The probes are being pulled. The shield batteries are keeping the sentry alive for now. Sentry is really doing. Yeah, he's got to pull back to those shield work. batteries yeah. again. But he's going to go for the probes. He's going to go through all of his guys right here. But like one shot kills each of these Marines, and out comes Daddy Colossus. Oh, no. All right, he's going to zap away. 
The shield batteries are out. out of energy. Oh my god, that Colossus took so much damage. Oh man. Wow. So it looks like what? He got. He lost two drones during that? Yeah, two drones during that. That's not enough. The thing about Z Croissant is that he probes. makes so many probes. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And, he, and you can chrono boost out probes. It's a ability on the Nexus to make a building build something faster. It uses energy. Yep. So he is chrono boosting out probes right now because I think he thinks he lost more than he did, but uh, he didn't lose that many. He didn't lose that many at all. No, not at all. Yeah. And the bad thing is that yeah, 51 to 34 har harvesters, right? Yeah. So. Z Croissant has an observer over his natural base. So yep. He sees when he's going to move out next. He sees what's going on. Um, yeah, that's that's big. That, that is big. That is absolutely huge, yeah. Take care of that observer. Yeah. I think I think Sarkart could have done a lot more damage with that um, target firing down the stalkers and then yeah, even the shield just let him and the shield batteries I think too because the shield batteries rehealed the Colossus in the end but that's just a shit ton of Marines look at that <laughs> um, yeah he I mean he's making them back up yeah he's got plus one attack and armor right now and yep. combat shields and stim but Marines are light units you know what does a lot of damage to light units Colossus I Colossus I, yeah I was about to say <laughs> I didn't give you time to guess but yeah, Colossus is splash damage and bonus damage to light yeah. units. I mean, he took care of those. That that yeah. I mean, the Colossus came out and there went the rest of his, yeah. his uh, Marines. So here comes the push again. Some uh, Marauders. He needs Marauders. Is what yeah, he needs. he needs to make sure he gets these guys bunched up too before he goes in. Yeah, and he better not attack up that choke point up the, the mineral... Uh, ram. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna go for the his third base That's there. Good. That's a good. Uh... Yeah, that'll that'll he if he gets you know, a uh, couple seconds earlier he would have had that. that uh, oh, those, single file. Hut, those hut, cannons. Hut 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 hut. Let's go, guys. <laughs> this way, guys with guns. All right, here we go. He's gonna stim in, get the pylons to kill, or to depower. Hopefully, all right. Those probes are all dead. Yeah, that that but, base is. These marines Here are. Comes his these army, marines yeah. are. These marines are all dead too. Can he trade out efficiently oh my goodness. though? That's way too many colossus, colossus, right? Yeah. He needs. He needs something for the colossus. There and goes Z twenty-one. <laughs> twenty-one, 21 probes, probes. But is, he's still ahead in workers. He's still yep. ahead in workers. I mean, he came out with a ton. Yeah. So of workers. Now he, he's still building. Yeah, he's still building nine marines at a time. He needs to be build, building marauders and Vikings because Viking uh, Colossus only shoot ground units, but air to air units because they're so tall boys. Air to air units can boy. shoot the Colossus. Did you know that Vikings shoot Colossus, yeah. but Colossus yeah. can't shoot Vikings. Yeah, because they're so high up there. They're so huge. So Vikings and Marauders is kind of the answer, and tanks. Still no starport down though. So. Uh, correct. Yeah, no starport. That, All right, that's bad. Starport yeah. needs to go down at this point. It does. Oh, yeah. Oh man, this push is gonna be tough. It is because he has extended thermal lance, which gives uh, Colossus range for like infinity, basically. Yep. And that many Colossus. Oh my is just, god. He, oh yep. my god. And that's Gigi. round one going to Z Croissant. Z Croissant. Gigi. I mean, that was an impressive match, I will say. It was. He, I he, like the early Stim Marine push, but you got to do economic damage to it and then follow it up with something other than Stim Marines because they'll, <laughs> they'll counter it really quick. Yeah. Yeah, best of three. So we just did Zen. Um. I'm going to ask him, Eternal Empire? If they don't have a problem with Eternal Empire. Yeah, no. I guess just get concurrence. That's it. Um, all right, melee, melee. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I, I just do want to see the new map. So Zen is that one with the like choke point at the front with the the minerals. It's kind of like blocking your way. Um, it protects a otherwise very exposed natural expansion. So it's yeah. not not bad that way. 
You want to play him? Just kidding. What? I had you in there. Sarko, Z croissant. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right, game two. P game team. two. All right, on Eternal Empire, Ladder Edition. All right, this is a nice looking map here. Yeah, it's very Protoss Gold Armada type. In the top right, playing Zerg. Did he, is he playing Cheeky? Did he play random or did he switch it in the last second? I don't know. All right, I expect him to do this. Um, playing as Zerg now, we have Sauerkraut. In the bottom left, shiny blue Terran. Z, bread product, croissant. Car carbs are good. This map concerns me. <laughs> good. <laughs> um, why? Really? I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> I, oh, I know why. Okay, so look at Z Croissant's mineral line and look at all of the space behind there, right? Yeah. That's a big space to like drop a huge Terran yep. army. Oh, yeah. But he's not Terran, no right? Terran. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because of the space behind the mineral he line. He did go random, I just saw. Oh, did he did? Okay. Yeah, so I don't even know if he knows. I know he doesn't oh, know. Oh, he got a probe in. No, he got Oh, a did probe he? In. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. He all knows. Right. Probe shifts in there. He's gonna block his natural. Oh my god, what oh. Oh no. Ooh. What a jerk. Oh yeah. he did go pool first though. So he built a spawning pool first, which is very aggressive. It lets him get Zerglings out early to yep. attack. And since he went random, if he if Z Croissant saw that uh, um, going down as well right now. He may not have a wall up soon enough. But he is no he is building a very good wall right now. And actually, he's gonna like restructure his wall, so it's better, yeah. better for him. So now what you do is you block that little hole there, right there, with a zealot, and a zealot just slices up zerglings. But instead, the zerglings are gonna kill the pylon, and yeah, all you need to do go across the. They're gonna go across the map and not be able to do anything anymore. Oh well. All right, zell it out for the Cresson. I, th I don't know what uh, Sauerkraut's going to do with these Zerglings. He has them on attack move way over here just to kind of check if there's any proxies, I guess, and then come yeah. back. Yeah, because yeah, he did that last time. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. He built a macro hatchery in his main base. All right, so second nexus coming down. I wonder. Is, he's just gonna go mass ling. This I mean, I kind of like that idea for like a little bit. <laughs> nah. He's going mass. He's going mass one unit basically. <laughs> but there's a wall. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. It's. Yeah. I mean, if he gets enough out, he'll he will be able to break the wall. Uh, I mean. What yeah, kind of units does he have out? He's only got... He's got like, one, one zealot, zealot and one That's adept. Yeah. But he'll be able to warp in. Oh, now there's a shield battery there. So that zealot basically lives forever. Because only one or maybe two zerglings has the surface area to attack that one zealot, right? So yeah. it's not going to do enough damage, and that shield battery is going to out-recharge his shields compared to the damage that the zerglings, which... All right, here comes the zerglings. Here they come, boys. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh, he, he could kill that cybernetics. Oh core. man! If he targeted, oh, uh, oh, uh, dude, that zealot is. He's a perfect. hero. He's a hero. Yeah, that's a he's great a wall. Hero is, <laughs> is right. Wow. That wall is amazing, actually. The, yeah, the shield. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a GG. GG. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, if he wants to. If he would have killed the cybernetics core with all the zerglings, he had the surface area to do that. Yeah. 
well, fuck you, come here. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to make a baneling nest and try to make that. Yeah. Uh, really, all he needs to do is make a bunch of adepts and. Uh, <laughs> Because adepts actually do bonus damage to light. Oh, oh, just oh, like crap. a colossus. Fuck up. <laughs> oh, yeah. These guys are funny. Uh, he's not even going to try to expand or anything. He's got 20, tw we 22 might have workers. another little wing rush coming on here. Oh, he's going to make roaches. He's got a roach warren coming down. Oh, he's going to kill the rocks. Yeah. I'll go oh, rocks. Uh, uh, yeah, you rocks. get them. You get them rocks. Yeah. Yes. If you wanted to kill any rocks, he should kill the ones in the middle by the uh, Zelnaga Tower, kind of in the yeah, middle. That yeah. opens up pathing and stuff for roaches, so yeah, we'll see what Don't happens. Don't have to go all yeah. the way around. Um, production, he doesn't have any roaches. Uh, does he have a dark shrine? He does. He has a dark shrine. Oh, my God. He's going to make That's dark huge. Templar. Um, he doesn't even have a lair. He's got a spore crawler in the back, but yeah, okay. These dark Templar are just going to be GG. I'm going to follow them on the camera. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> the uh, permanently cloaked swordy boys doing like 45 damage per swipe swipe. He should. Oh. Oh my, it's disgusting. Should be good. Yeah, it's going to take two swipes on this hatchery, and then he's going to GG. Eh, pretty close. But he's going. <laughs> I told oh. you. <laughs> GG, yeah. That's that. <laughs> Fucking Dark Templar, man. Wow. Um, all right, good game. Two to zero, Z Croissant. No GG. Aw, oh, you, can't, you can't bother him about it. <laughs> GG's. All right, we can leave this party, and then we'll try to catch up on uh, if uh, any yeah, other games got, uh, got played. All right, so in my Prometheum chat, we've got, what do we have? Um, where'd everyone go? Here to Positron. Okay, Positron is his uh, challenge score. Or his challenge uh, username. I did this already. All right, so Durandal and Warracle. Do we have any updates on them? Durandal and Warracle. Oh, he's in game right now. Okay. So he should be still going with, with Warracle. And then Schmitztron and Captain Club. Do we have any idea where they're at? Schmitztron. Schmitztron. There he is. Okay. Can we join a progress one? Yeah. Uh, not one that's in progress, but... Uh, Next match. Oh, no. He said Captain Club won his match. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Nordy. Appreciate it. Do you know the score, Nordy? Or 2-0 two, two he won. Okay, good, good. Thanks. Two two zeros. Yeah, you, kind of, you can kind of expect that, I guess. <laughs> Captain Club. Submit, submit scores. Let's find out where they are. Maybe they'll Match. Are you updating the bracket? I am, yep. And then the Captain Club is automatically going to go to the finals. I know that's kind of not fair, but Slayer SC2 was, um, it's kind of like a buy for, for Captain yeah. Club, you know? So he's going to get in there. Someone got lucky. Yep. Happened to be Captain Club. Let's do it. Boom, boom. Cool. Good. So we're going to have Durandal and Warracle. Let's see where they're at. They're still in game, I believe, or at least Warracle. <sighs> Good try, Smitchtron. Looks like he's offline. We'll be doing many more of these, so uh, might not have been your day today, but come back. Doesn't mean that, it, yeah. And overcome. Free tournament, you know, only only gives you the want to get better, or you got unlucky, which could have happened. <laughs> it looks like Oracle is offline right now, so I wonder if he rage quit and left. 
Durandal. Durandal is in uh, is in a score screen. Send him a message. Yeah, I got him. That might have been the quickest first round. I've seen Durandal one two zero. Yeah. Uh, not Durandal. All right, so we're gonna have Positron versus. Where does it say Durandal one two zero? In the chat. Twitch chat. ICBM fourteen. Twitch chat. In Twitch chat, okay. Durandal won two to zero. Okay, cool. Good try, Warcool. Awesome. On Sounds to the next good. one. Uh, like yeah. I said, we'll be doing this often, so uh, just get better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try harder. <laughs> Duh. More free entries, more free money. Hey man, Durandal, Durandal. There it is. See the scores. Cool. Okay, bracket is updated, and now we'll dur let's do Durandal and Positron. All right. Yes. Sounds good, man. So Captain Club is going to get a buy this round uh, just because how the brackets ended up. So the only match in the semi current Durandal 14 versus Pajadron 312, who both won their matches 2-0. to zero. So it's uh, shaping up to be a good semifinal round here. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Um, yeah, both of them are plat ones, so this is actually going to be pretty it's spicy. Pretty even, yeah. Let's get a scrappy plat game going. Now, what do you say? Matt Vito Durandal. All right, so he vetoes Nightshade. Okay, Nightshade's out. World FM Zen Sim Eternal. Eternani. Yeah, it's an Eternal Empire. I'm good okay. at typing. Yeah, I can tell. And Triton. 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 Trit Triton. Z Z croissant veto. Uh, he vetoes Nightshade. Nightshade. Everyone vetoes Nightshade. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, he vetoed Zen first. I'm sorry. So he vetoed Zen. He vetoes Nightshade. Durr. I'm going to call him Durr. <laughs> Durr Randall. So, um, Nightshade, Zen, and Ephem is out. Ephemeron is out. And then one more veto from Z Croissant. Z. Uh, Similacrom. Okay, cool. All right. We have our three map three. Uh, three maps are World of Sleepers, Eternal Empire, and Triton. Okay, so uh, Durandal. Pick map. Pick first map. World. All right, World of Sleepers. Shoot. Cancel. Cancel that one. Choke. Right. I know. I didn't add the... Uh, Choke. I didn't add the WCS Game Heart mod. Uh, I'm at Vito World. <laughs> what did he say? Did he say that? No. Did he say that? No. Um. He vetoed Zen. Yeah, he didn't. And no then he vetoed Nightshade. World. After he picked World, he said that. Oh, okay. No, he's just <laughs> he's just being a little cheeky guy. All right. Can you fix it so we're not the ones playing it? <laughs> yeah. TVZ, all right. Uh, Z Croissant is. All right. <laughs> too, too bad. <laughs> all right, we're good. I thought I screwed up the maps. Uh, the map veto. But no, they're good. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, this is round two. Um, semi finals. Z Croissant versus Durandal. 
a PVZ. It starts now. PVZ should be a pretty good match for a semifinal here. Yeah, it all comes down to Z Croissant making a wall and getting up to tech that just doesn't get surrounded and killed, right? Yeah. I, I've never seen Durandal play. I've never heard of him, but uh, like he's PV got a woman as yeah. a uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what Hi. I don't know what portrait that is, but it's very <laughs> popular. Yeah. All right. In the top right, we have in the um, I don't know purplish pale icky gooey <laughs> zerg player it's purple zerg it's durandal durandal give it up for durandal yeah Ooh, yeah in the bottom left <laughs> protoss pieces with their shiny lasers and crystals and warping and shit and now we did watch Z Croissant as well, yeah. the last match, and it was it's pretty good. Z it was Croissant. pretty dominant, to be honest. So this should be a good, a yeah. good match. All right, so he is going to try to wall this low ground. That is a lot of surface area. Can he? And Z Croissant just about. Uh, oh, okay. He gets his hatch down. Okay, so he, yep. he doesn't get the block off like he did against uh, Sauerkraut. Um, oh, he, Jesus! It's, it's because... he's got quite the route planned out. Yeah. You got the. <laughs> that's just good for scouting the uh, timing yeah. of the spawning pool. Yeah, and that's all queued up, right? So he isn't spending yep. any actions nope. per minute to. Uh, well, now he is. Now he's rerouting the probe to <laughs> continue. Yeah. So the spawning pool goes down at a normal time. Yep, it was hatch goes. pool gas. And extractor down as well, so he's got the gas. Yep. And that's to research speed as soon as the pool is yeah. done. Yeah. Which so, is huge. Yeah. Gotta get speed. Yes. Makes faster bugs. All, All right. right. He, he He's clearly ready to put down. There it goes. There it goes. Nexus he was goes on, down. On patrol. He, uh, he was doing a little APM back and forth till that <laughs> came back. It, he's like, let he, me have the money. He was on patrol just going back and forth. <laughs> he, uh, In a uh, two-foot span. Yep. Yeah, they do that often. Uh, yeah. pr pros do it all the time, and they say that the building will build faster because... I, it's the probe is already in motion to the point at which like the place in the map that they need to put okay. down the nexus but you you'll see probes Sounds do like that all the time Sounds like a bunch of bullshit but <laughs> hey man if all the pro if the probes are doing it it's worth it yeah 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 all right so in the all top right, so center down. in the top center we have a cheeky pylon up here proxy pylon we'll see what he uses that for probably i mean i could see him and he's just got Warping. his probe just chilling there, probably yeah. building up some uh, economy right now. I can't tell if this is a hard wall. If, I don't think it, it is. It is a hard wall. Well, it I, looks like... I think I he's mean, got a space on the right side of the wall. If you click the gateway, it's rallied to that uh, to that hole yeah. right there. All right, plugs the hole with the zealot. He does. Yeah, he is okay. doing the zealot plug again. Yeah. All right, so he I is... like the zealot plug. I really do. Yeah, okay, so he's doing a proxy Stargate. He's going to get an early Oracle and then try to roast some drones. So that, we'll see how that goes. Stargate in the top center. How are we looking? So we're looking about, he's got 27, 29 probes now. So economy's doing okay, just one zealot. Yeah, Durandal's third base comes down too. That's good. Big. Yeah, his probe production Big. should... Or his drone production should uh, twenty-seven should bump up really quickly here. He's got more queens. Um, all right, that oracle is going to get started. Yeah. All right, does that oracle get started on time? Not quite. A little behind on the oracle, that's for sure. But he's really, he's really... he's got the money for it now. Yep. Oh, he doesn't do it. If he. Oh. Okay. He sees what are it. you doing? Uh, oracle. There it is. Okay, it's going down. Excellent. So now everybody in StarCraft should be programmed to put down air defense at f by 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. So a spore crawler in the main is, like, kind of required right now out of Durandal. You need to do it. You got to do it. Stalker out. The queens aren't you enough. Yeah, yeah, stalkers just for defense of the yep, wall. Yep, just chilling. Yeah, the sentry made a hallucinated phoenix to come scout. Oh man, this, he, he's <laughs> this overlord. Watching this look stalker this. go look, back and forth is look, hilarious. Yeah, he's on patrol. Oh, this overlord stopped. Oh no, the overlord sees the oracle. Does he see it though? Oh, I don't know. <gasps> I don't. Did he see it? 
Okay, that's a fake. I'm watching uh, Durandal's vision right now. I'm watching your vision. I think. Oh, he's got the sport crawlers down. Okay. There it is. Yeah, okay. Now we're watching everybody's vision. All right, so what's he going to do? Where, that, where did the Oracle That's go? That's a bold move, Con. Let's see if it pays off. You got yeah. that right, Morty. The thing is, <laughs> the Oracle could have went in and done some damage, but the Oracle saw the Overlord so close to the Stargate that he thought he got scouted and now it wasn't going to yeah. get into damage or the Queens like, would be in no position or whatever. But but now, now the Oracles are definitely not going to get much damage unless he gets like four of them, like three or four of them. So we'll see what happens. He is making three of them. <laughs> oh, man. And so the, you read your mind, kind of. Yeah, and the first one's banking up tons of energy. So the Oracle kill or attack is energy-based. So right now he's banking up 104, 105, 106 energy. That's more drones dying right there. See, the second one that came out only has 68 energy, 69. So it costs 25 energy to activate their pulsar beams to kill. Do their attack. And Zikrasan is supply blocked right now, so this 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 oh, could man. be bad. Okay, yeah. He, he, he needs to. Uh, oh my god, I didn't even see that. Whoa. He mined the minerals. Oh, did did the probes mine the minerals? I think the probes mined the minerals, opened up this gap right here, and now there's zerglings in his base, which are gonna get cleaned up. But it they, did say, four they probes. Four. Yeah, they four killed, probes. Maybe more even. Oh yeah, they'll get more. Uh, go go for the probes. Ah, uh, that's too bad. He could have got like two more probes. Yeah. What are these? Uh, you know, they're not. They're not really. Uh, okay, the oracles. Not the right units. No, they're not. All right, we're watching the oracles now. They're gonna get some counter damage for sure, especially on that third base. I bet you they could. Twilight Council going them. down. Okay, so Bruce Twilight Council's Bruce great for blink and stalkers. And a couple more zealots. <gasps> Ooh, roaches. The roaches found the Stargate. Oh. That's not good. This is gonna be a really good game. So he, oh, he's building an immortal. Okay, yeah, he needs to build a lot of immortals. Immortals just crush anything armored, and roaches are armored. Um, okay, here we go. I mean the ex the expansions uh, right uh, now for Durand. Zekrasant's attacking the spore crawl. Just kill it by now. Oh, oh, it kills it. Okay. This is a big production hit right now. Not really, no. Uh, I mean, like the oracles aren't getting enough, nearly enough done. They killed four workers. Oh, what a but waste of the orc. Yeah. All right, it's it's a it's a wash because yeah, four and I four. Mean, yeah, but the oracles are way more expensive than the zerglings that yeah, yeah, yeah. Durandal lost. Oracles are like one fifty minerals, one hundred gas, I believe. Oh, hydralisk uh, then. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of hydras out already. And he's, okay. And he's got the classic StarCraft Brood War. Hydralisk skin, which is actually kind of sexy. They look. Uh, I like uh, it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's bad. He's in trouble, actually. Immortals don't do bonus damage to hydralisks. They're not armored. They they are light, I believe. So uh, the zealots could slash them up. So this army actually, it's such a tough call, dude. This this might wash a little bit, actually. Yeah, this is going to be a really good fight. I think Zerg has the advantage. He's yep. going to come for the third base because he knows that wall is already open. He's got a right, wall. Are they moving? Yeah. They're not moving. So he doesn't see him going. Oh, well, now he does. The gateways right. are going he to does have an opening. do a decent amount. Oh, yeah. Get that pylon. Ooh. That kills his production. Eh, it only depowered one gateway, actually. Does he have charge? Charge is not done. Okay. So charge for Zealous is not done. He needs to Deep. wait. He needs to wait for that. It's almost done, but not quite. All right. <gasps> back up and oh no! And now he's making banelings. So the banelings are going to do extra splash oh. damage to the zealots. So we're in for a big. I think Zerg is going to take the baneling bus. Easily. It's just going to pop all the the zealots. It's a pretty good army. Behind this, Zekrasan has seventy one workers. So he just needs to get his production up. All right, they see me rolling. Banelings. Yeah, I mean, oh on, no! I mean. Never mind about that worker lead anymore. Damn. Ooh. 16. The amount of yeah. I mean, minerals that Durandal has is, is yeah. astronomical. I mean, the mic macro game is huge. Right? So oh, he, no. he, he can get back up. Yeah. Oh. All right, third All right base he's going to pull back and try and yeah. try and hold off what he can here in his second. And, yeah, and, I don't uh, think he can attack it at this choke point. He's got no, Ar Archons no, no. now. Um, all right, let's... Uh, 
We gotta try. This is gonna be a That's... this is a good choke point for a battle, but those uh those uh, hydralisks really uh you know they're doing a lot of damage. They, yeah. I mean they've got a far reach. Okay, charge is done. That makes a bit of a difference, especially in, okay, now that the banelings are gone, but now he's making more banelings. So let's see. Alright, he's taking a sneaky base in the top left. That, yeah. That'll be interesting. That is a sneaky base. I think Oh, this overlord's gonna see it. <gasps> he's he's bringing yep. a lot of his workers there as well. Yeah, the overlord sees it though. So. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's following him. <laughs> he's been discovered. Oh no. <laughs> uh, oh no. Okay, so Banelings are they're gonna go take that base real quick. Yeah. The Ling's up front. That is the. Uh... <laughs> right. Rip is right. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Save oh, us. <laughs> These, they're going to get picked off real quick. Yep. Up to eight probes, 10, 11. And that was scouted by this overlord that's just on patrol north and yeah. south. Yeah. Like, I mean, can't. what it, an incredible scout for, for the It overlord. really was, actually, right yeah. For, for, for yeah. Durano. Yeah. That is huge. I don't know how you secure a third base as Protoss. I really don't. It's tough. He had so many Hydralisks. I, I guess Storm. He needs Storm, really. Oh, Colossus. He's... Making a Colossus. That worked for him last time. Yeah, against Marines. And you need four of them. You need, like, four of them to do a lot of good damage. Okay, the Sentry Force Fields are good. Give and a and the Guardian between Shield. Between the Banelings, you know? You don't yeah. have Banelings running in willy-nilly. But are willy -nilly. the Immortals going to survive? Oh, here comes the Colossus. Okay, all right. That was a good push. I mean, he might have just saved a little bit of time. Uh. I oh mean, the God. splash damage right now, oh. I was going to say, the splash damage off the Colossus was huge right there. It is, yeah. If he, he keeps making them... He took them... a lot of troops down with that. Yeah. All right, the the bad thing is, you know what's going to make this game? Upgrades. Uh, z Croissant only now started plus one, plus one, and... It's a little late for that. I know um, he got held up, but... Okay, never mind. He's going to get a third Nexus down, though. Durandal only has plus one... Zergling attack coming, melee. Oh my god, 28 banelings. Holy shit. <laughs> 28 yeah. banelings in the production tab. It's going to be a banling bust. And a spire. So he's going air after this next attack. Or maybe in addition to the next attack to su supplement. I wonder if he's going to go for corruptors against the colossus, which are no longer on the field. Or mutalisks. Right. Yeah, I wonder... Did he notice he killed that Colossus? Yeah, he did. He focus fired it down. Yeah, he focus fired that with the uh, Hydralisks, which, yeah, it, Hydralisks are light and the Colossus does bonus damage to light, but just one Colossus isn't really scary. Nah, like he needs to pump out a few. Yeah. Oh, my God. Durandal has Hive, and he's getting uh, Adrenal Glands, which makes Zerglings... Deadly. It increases their like tax speed by forty percent or something. Jesus. It's, it's nasty. And it's tier three tech, right? It's a tier three upgrade. Oh, kill the rocks! Kill the rocks! Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh, kill those rocks, rocks. Said, ah, fuck you, rocks. said yeah, bad fuck things you about rocks. your mother. Oh. Ah. Done rocks. Ah yeah. Uh, it sucks when you actually a move your entire army and then you blow up your <laughs> you blow up your banelings to kill rocks. That's a bad day. <laughs> no, not the banelings. Because yeah, they're like one and done suicide, right? Like that was worth it. <laughs> Not Al Akbar. <laughs> Al Akbar, exactly. <laughs> okay, he secured his third base. He's got 37 out of 16 workers on it. Yeah, that's very, big. He's, pu he's pulling very, himself out of a hole right very here. Very saturated, yeah. Um, what he needs to get. Okay, it looks like one oh, zero one 1 right uh, now, so he's, he's got a. Okay, now he restarted one Colossus. Let me see the units tab here. Oh, disruptors. He's got two disruptors. <gasps> can, I didn't even see that. Can he micro those? Oh my god. If you can micro those, that those can be game changers against a huge, like, ball of banelings just getting blown up by a disruptor would be sweet to see. I want to see that. Please, baby. That is a very scary Zerg army. <laughs> and he doesn't see it coming. He doesn't have any... Or, or, oh, no. uh, all right, here we go. This is going to be a good one. Let and me here see the disruptors. The all right, there... Oh, uh, oh one disruptor oh, no. ball goes out, doesn't... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, he didn't see it coming. Durandal takes round one, everybody! Settle down, but yeah, Durandal takes round one. That was a pretty gnarly game. That was. I, I, he just had the upper hand the whole time. Yeah, he, just... had, he had no map vision. He didn't know that 
attack was even coming and yeah yeah it's not something you just want to have show up without any knowledge of it um that, that was brutal map we've got uh eternal and triton triton Yeah, it was a pretty good game, though. I think uh, Z Croissant can pull it off. He can do it. Yeah, let's go to a game three. Let's do it, yeah. Maybe the finals. We haven't seen... Uh... Who's in the top bracket? Captain Club. We haven't seen him... Uh... There we go. I mean, let's be real. It's definitely tougher... When you get when you don't get that buy, you know you gotta win. Yeah. Two games, which is it's not easy in a game like this. Yeah. Unless you know, with with the level we're playing at, it just. He might do something uh, a little cheesy. To come back, I did I do that against him? I did do that against him on Wednesday. I lost. I actually I opened with a cheesy build actually in our best of three. Oh, you but, dirty uh, man. Yeah, I opened up a uh, proxy banshees, double starport proxy banshee, and it worked really, really well. I loved it. Okay, in the top left, Durandal. Durandal. Bottom right, winner of round one, the croissant. Bro does. All right. Building a wall against Zerg is an art. That's part it of it. Really is. It, actually, as Terran too, because I'm, I mean, it's actually pretty straightforward as Terran, but I'm really bad at it. <laughs> Securing my natural is. Oh yeah, let's zoom in on the rocks here. Yeah, woo! Come on, come on, come on! Get your camera skills together, bud. <laughs> it's not too bad. Oh, that's clean right there. That little rotation. Yeah, oh. I like that. Oh. Watch. The probe. He's got the ooh overlord. He's got the moves. Yeah, they send the overlords out on very specific pathing to uh, check for proxies because yep. overlords are the supply depot in the sky and great for scouting. Oh, they they. I mean that that one move. Yeah. That overlord in the last round. Yeah, if won you, that game. If that was Z, that was a big turning point. If Z Croissant would have secured that sneaky base for a long time without being seen he would have been able to get a lot more colossus and probably fry that entire uh hydralisk army so captain club says i just got out of attorney against masters and diamond as my first two matches surprisingly i beat the masters <laughs> damn okay all right okay and that might show up to a good last match nice man hang tight captain club you're gonna nice. have your moment of fame. <laughs> Was it one of those auto? It must have been one of those auto tournaments. Okay, that is he gonna go for a proxy Stargate again? No, he's sending the probe away. So let's see what happens here. I could see DTs, and the thing is, he did the proxy Stargate right, and yep. didn't get any like drone damage. Like even if you just send yeah, three oracles in and focus fire the drones because it went after the damn spore crawler instead of drones that would have been a completely different game honestly we're not they're not being diligent on who they're attacking yeah which is making a difference in all yeah. of these games yeah. they're letting their guys get fried by yeah. attacking the wrong on the, other, on the other hand if you over micro them and you don't macro back at home and you kill six workers, and in the meantime, you could have built six workers or a decent army, then it's not worth it. There's pros and cons. Yeah. There are pros and cons, but you need to find the balance. Right. And I just haven't seen the balance in these games yet. You haven't seen the balance. Oh, a balance whiner. Okay. All right. Zergimba. <laughs> <laughs> you just suck, oh, yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Trying to put my best casting into play here oh he's going proxy twilight council that leads me to believe that he's going to go for proxy dts but guess what 
this overlord is going to see it. He's going to see the shit. Oh my god. <gasps> he sees it. It's in his vision. Yep. Oh, he sees it, sees it. Like, absolutely, positively <laughs> is sending shit over there right now. Uh, okay. I wonder what he planned on for this. Probably a dark shrine. Can he build the dark shrine at home? He is. He is. He does have it. It's in his natural. All right. So you need to build the Twilight Council, and then that. Links, links oh. are taking out the Twilight Council on the top rank. Yeah, but he's got the dark shrine down already, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, Lings don't counter Dark Templar. You need roaches. Yeah, you just need roaches, basically. Roaches and uh, a lair, which he's got the lair morphing right now. Good, okay. He needs detection. Another gateway down for Z. Yeah, he knows what's up, too. Yeah. Yeah. He knows it's Dark Templar. This Dark Shrine is about uh, it takes 75% it, done. It takes forever to build. I wonder, yeah. I wonder what the longest building time is. It could be a Dark Shrine or a Command Center. I'm not sure which. <laughs> But yeah, he ain't no fool. He's got a roach worn down. His lair is done. And he should have an overseer morphing soon. <laughs> and Nordy's he's in... calling it. Nordy's calling the rip already. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It is kind of dead. He might as well <laughs> he might as well just make archons at this point. You merge yeah. two Dark Templar together and they become an Archon. Uh, they oh, they yeah, we'll worked see. out a little bit for a little while. It was just a little late. Yeah. Those lings are just checking for a third base. Doesn't see anything. All right, so he's got the proxy pylon over here on the left side, warping in four Dark Templar. And That's big. Here go the boys. If That's he gets big. A, if he can kill this fourth base right here, does he just walk by it? He does just he's walk by right it. He's going right past it. He's going right past it. He wants drone kills, I think. But there's spore yeah. crawlers, but there's no defense, right? If he kills the spore crawler, there's no detection. Is there an overseer? There's two overseers morphing right now. All right, that queen's queen. gonna be dead. Queen's dead. Um, swipe, swipe, swipe. And he's going for the spore crawler, but there's already. Yeah, he's not even gonna get the spore crawler. All right. So the other two DTs stayed by the fourth base, and is he gonna cancel? Probably it? smart. Durandal, cancel, cancel. He does cancel. Okay. He does. So he gets most of that money back. Thanks. Right in time Ooh. too. Thanks for the follow, Captain Club. We'll see you in the finals, man. Swipe, swipe. All right, so now it's time for. So right now we're at seven Ooh, drone oh, kills. Oh damn, he's getting drone kills. That actually, yeah, no, he. That uh, shouldn't there's happen nine. at all. So this is a good turn right here. This is yeah. Did he kill all the zerglings? He needs to make a. Ro oh, he's got eleven roaches on the way. Okay, all right. Eight roaches. Yeah. No, no, no. Keep focus firing the drones. Okay, now it's time to make archons. Oh, that's a lot of. That's actually a lot of DTs. Maybe he can. Nah, he can't take the the roaches anymore okay decent economic damage you're up 47 to 41 workers against zerg just stay home protect your third base which is Rondo needs to spend some money too. yeah oh yeah he, oh my god he does yeah 2500 yeah. to 800 minerals yeah that's a lot of minerals that's kind of wasted he needs to build actually overlords right now he's actually 80 out of 96 all right, here comes the roaches. Oh, yeah. Okay, and the overseer isn't here yet, so you can't attack into that. Okay, overseer, no, no, no. one overseer's on his way. Um, with the immortal and all that, yeah, you can't attack into that. Bye, roaches. Goodbye. Leave, leave, Why leave, leave. You? Don't do this. Peace. He's kiting really well, though. He's like... Attack, run away, attack, run away. Yeah. He's going to lose them all, but he's going to trade as best he can with that maneuver. Ah, he's... Yeah. Uh, okay. But yeah, Zekrasan's yeah, yeah, going to come out on top of this one. He is, yeah. He's going to run into a few more uh, roaches, though. Yeah, the, the roaches were rallied to go there in case the attack went well and you wanted reinforcements, but the attack did not go well. <laughs> did not. So, what, seven kills... This is looking really good for Z Croissant. It looks like we're going to go to a game three. I'm going to call it early. I'm going to be a bad caster and call it early. But he's got that <laughs> he's got that warp prism, right? Putting on the caster curse right now. Right, yeah, now Z Croissant throws it. 
but that's a decent amount of mortals. He's got the warp yeah. prism to reinforce. Does he have charge done? Charge is on the way. I think I saw. Okay. Yeah, charge is about a quarter of the way done only. He he really shouldn't attack until it is done. Um, because Durandal is going to do it anyway. Isn't making army. Yeah, that's true. D Durandal is trying to drone up behind it, but he needs to be making army. He's going to go for that fourth base location again and get the cancel on it again, which is great because the Zerg on here three bases isn't amazing. Yeah, here yeah. Comes some more Dark Templars. Which, which is actually uh, pretty solid. Yep. All right, now what? Oh, he's making more Archons out of the Dark Templar. I kind of like the Archons uh, better. Do I like them better? Yeah, because their shields recharge. And Archons hit points is 350 shields and 10 life. Right? So if they live that's and recharge, that's a lot of shields. If they live and recharge, it's like they live forever. The two oh, immortals man. in the back are really the backbone to this because they do so much extra damage to armored. But it is, I mean, they're, it is. They, they're that's, trading. Yeah. They're... And the. Ooh, he recalls. Get out. He's he's leaving. He's out. Yeah, he's out. That war prism with a. Oh, no, don't oh, do that. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> don't, no, 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 no. Don't run do away. that. Run away. Run. Yeah, the roaches surrounded that entire army. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think if he... 1-1 one, one going out. Round 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I don't think he should have... Uh, well, he's got double warp prism, and they bump into each other. Watch out, so ATC. That might, oh. be, that might be huge, too, to get the 1-1 one, one out. Oh, he's got Here. He's got three warp prisms. Why do you have three warp prisms? And why is one being rallied all the way over here? Questions. I have questions. We're just gonna we're just gonna walk the uh, the mortals across the map. All right. <laughs> Come on, do something. Warp, warp. I am so confused. All right, here's a warp in. All right, Zerg's gonna people. get melee at one uh, here. All right, top Even left the... has just a three zealot warp in, and it might. He's gonna get a queen. They have charge He'll get now. the queen. And probably a couple workers. Eh, target fire the spawning target pool. Target fire. I don't know about. You're not gonna get the spawning pool. Ooh. Oh, the Dark oh, Templar are here though. Here they come. Ooh, he's killing the evolution chamber. No more upgrades up for you. That's, that's pretty big right there. That All might right. help. Yeah, the overseer's on the way though. So that that's not where the four Dark Templar are very expensive, and he lost them for only an really evolution chamber. Easy. And guess what? Just went down again. Another evolution chamber. Yeah, it, yeah. It delayed his upgrades, but not by that by much. Very little. Yeah. And that spawning pool actually almost went down, which only prevents him from building queens and zerglings, which you know, kind of, not a big deal. He built a backup spawning pool. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. All right, Durandal can recover right now. He's got space. He's got time. He's got. Uh, not a great economy. He only has 49, <laughs> 49 workers. So he needs to clean up the map. He sees this uh, random photon cannon and pylon. <laughs> All right. That won't do anything. <laughs> Bye. But, yeah, Z croissants on four bases. And... It's four to four bases. What's he working on? He's working on upgrades and a Templar archives to get Storm, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, there's no... No other reason to get a Templar Archives. Because you can already make Archons with the Dark Templars. So Why only three zealots? Big armies amassing right now. I mean, this roach... All these roaches in Hydralisk are... Damage. Mr. Jinbo says, Why only three zealots? Probably because he didn't have uh, any warp gates on cooldown. He probably warped in somewhere else at home and only had three... Or he was supply blocked. I didn't see the numbers, but yeah, three zealots is you know obviously more is better, especially like a surpri take this surprise attack. Get a bear. All right, go for it. All right. It looks like Z Croissant's gonna push out. Right. I don't know if he's got an upgrade completing that he's working on. This is actually a big this mistake be, that I made yeah. the other night. I attacked before my upgrade finished. Oh, he's realizing that they're doing way too much. Oh. I think the Protoss army can take this just based on upgrades alone and that many 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that many uh, damn immortals. They're, they're doing well right now. They're doing really well, yeah. Yeah, the immortals really put the uh, herd on there and pushed them way back into uh, there. Storm is not done, nor even started. <laughs> so these Templar in the two coming out. These Templar in the back. That's what I said. Like Man, he he, he pushed though. across the map before two two was done, and now two two is going to kick in, which is really really going to help him. He but it could would, have waited but, two yeah. seconds. Exactly. If he would have waited ten seconds, all those zealots with two two would have done way better. Like, I mean, he's still gonna win this fight and probably the game. This might be it. Yeah, there Gigi, it is. Durandal, Z croissant. We're going to game three. We go to game three. Yes. Double Robo needs Lydia, to be pumping out Z more croissant, immortals. Durandal, yeah, nice. one. And uh, last map is gonna be Eternal Empire. Right? Yeah, Eternal. We did uh, World of Sleepers, right? Yeah. Yep. Eternal Empire, round three for the semifinals of tonight's tournament, which we have yet to name. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Uh, just the Prometheum series, I guess, or something. I yeah. like that. I just like that. Prometheum series. It's pretty solid, I think. Zikrsant versus Durandal on Eternal Empire. Yeah, stick around after the tournament, guys. We probably, you know, if enough people stick around, we might play some peep mode or, uh, yeah, I think peep mode 1v1s would be fun. Ready? Let go. Game three starts now. Durandal versus Zikrsant. Round three of the semifinals. <laughs> What's reinforcements? <laughs> Captain Club, I can't wait to watch your match, man. <laughs> All right, ATC Killer, you've got the intros. All right. In the upper right, we've got the Zerg. He is Durando. He went and took the first match tonight, so you know, should be good. He he's a he's a strong Zerg player. And then down in the bottom left, in the red, Protoss, Z Croissant, came in strong in the second match after being down a little bit at the beginning. Really turned it around. Really turned it around and ended up with a strong. Immortal army that ended up walking right over. So let's yeah. see what they can bring out in game three here, and uh, so it should be a good match. Key, or the the key, the um, I don't know. The crux of game one for Z Croissant was that he went for that proxy Stargate and didn't get enough work done. Yes. The thing that won him game two, though, you know, uh, he got the Twilight Council scouted and killed but still got the dark or the dark shrine yeah dark shrine up in his yeah. main base um and it's surprisingly got work done so i i would account game two's loss for durandal on uh, durandal's inability to handle what he scouted he knew it was coming yeah he had spore crawlers for detection he had the layer for overseers he had the overseers he had roaches I, what a roach army so, that was too. Honestly, they were was. behind on upgrades yeah. too. Yes, rushing so, without yep. upgrades or you know, yeah. you, you need these upgrades. They will help you in the end. Yeah, and Zikrasant would have he won, but he would have won more handedly had he uh, waited for two two to finish at that last uh, last push. But and that was part of the reason I lost to Zikrasant in uh, Wednesday night's league. I, I watched the replays and and I dreamt about it <laughs> Qu quite literally I, I was thinking about that match all night but uh, yeah if you guys watch these games or watch these VODs post uh, l later Zikrasan to Randall these are excellent games very small mistakes easy, very fun easy fixes and uh, can't wait to see you guys in the next series yeah all I right. mean it sounds like the next one we're gonna run is yeah, we'll, we'll run an open tournament, see uh, how high of players we can reach to come play. Um, once one GM player shows up or a Masters it's player shows over. up, it's kind of like nobody else wants to sign up, right? Yeah. Um, 
that's why you have to have a second place prize basically and maybe even yeah. a third place prize um and it, honestly if you guys if you guys want to donate to a prize pool i can we can set up a fund for that and i like the 2040 or the 4020 uh so if we can reach that each time that'd be great if we could su- sustain that um two per month is probably my schedule limit yeah um so i think 2040 um if it I, works. I can chip that in, and if we can, I can crowd, too. if we can crowdsource the rest of that, maybe for extra tournaments, um, I'm willing to do that. Especially if we get six people or more in the tournaments and some decent viewership too, which I, I'm I'm happy with nine viewers watching this, hanging out, yeah. drinking beers, and shooting we shooting do. bugs with guys with guns and lasers and. Ha, only that one first game was the Terran. I yeah. feel like Terran is not represented here today. Wait for the next patch to drop next week, and I think uh, Terran is going to be a very strong race. Excellent. Um, the global finals was uh, five Zergs, one, two Prados? Yeah, Trappin's classic, two Prados, and one Terran. Okay. So out of eight, five Zergs. So you're telling me this patch, the last patch, last tournament in the last year, it's... Decently represented that Zerg has been overpowered in this last patch. I so, mean, let's be real. Zerg has been overpowered it, a lot of the time. Yeah. yeah I, but you have to play him right. You have to play him right. Go down the two. That's tube. tough. We'll see what happens. Okay, back to the game. Back to the build. Yep. We've got a nice shiny wall over here. We have an observer. I like it. This observer is going across the map and is going to scout. It's one-to-one. In a best of three, when the game is one to one, I feel like players play much more conservatively. They're going to scout more. They're going to play more diligently, right? They know what's on the line here. Yep. They know forty dollars. The winner of this will take home twenty dollars, no least. matter what. At least, yeah. So that's excellent. Um, I like the uh, overlords out in the corner looking for another proxy. Oh, or Captain something. Club is a Terran. We're going to see a Terran in the final. Okay. I love TVZ. I love TVP yes. too, so it's going to awesome. end up well. Yeah. All right, let's see. What do we have here? So This wall is nice. I like this wall. You're right. Yeah, and this observer position Few too. More gelatin. The observer position is actually really solid because it's going to see the units rallying exactly where that damn roach is right now. <laughs> So he's yeah. going to see exactly the army composition that he needs to counter while it's across the other side of the map. Oh, there's a proxy pylon way in the, cor- way in the corner. And guess what? This overlord is going to find it. You can't, there it is. You can't hide anything from Durandal. No, he he's sees like, the he, whole map. He's like, Cyril, wow. You can't hide anything from this guy. That's a decent roach army already at six minutes. Holy crap. But Three that's bases, a decent Protoss bases. army too. The number yeah. of sentries there is actually really good. Sentries are so useful. I, I do not build enough of them or use them. I, I'm not great at spellcasters, but the sentries are going to be able to make these force fields that the immortals are going to be able to pound the roaches through. I think I, they definitely outrange. We're pretty roaches. even. 50 probes, 47 drones. I like but the fourth base Durandal from Durandal. Needs to spend yeah. some money. Yeah. Spend some money, Durandal. And Durandal's map vision is amazing. He's got the Zelnaga Tower handled by this Zergling right here. So yep, he I sees see it. he sees this entire range. He saw this army move out too. He knows it's coming. It's gonna be gone though here. He, he held both of the Z- Zelnaga Towers. Ooh. Well, he knows there there's go. an army at his doorstep, so he better be making a lot of roaches. He's got yeah. eight, and now 13 Banelings in the production tab. The Banelings. Does he have speed for them yet? Uh, he does not. That's, he needs to bring out no speed. Bane speed. He's clean up creep. He cannot fight through this wall. That choke point will would kill him. On the other hand, Durandal can't push through that choke point either because the sentries are going to force field him and like segment his army. Yep. Uh, oh, kill some rocks. He's going to kill some kill rocks. rocks. Ah, oh, fuck you, rocks. Ah, oh, fuck you, rocks. I still feel like no. he's not going to push up this ramp. Don't push up this ramp. Don't do no, it. Don't no, do no, it. No, that no, many no, banging ones? No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, no. You got to go home now. You lost the yeah. meat to your army. Yeah, oh, he no, no, no. He's going to push. He's going to recall. You better oh. recall, boy. You got to oh, go my back. God. Well, he's got wow. this He's got this warp prism here to, to reinforce, but that was so many zealots that died. Yeah. 
The zealots I mean, are that like... That was a little bit of a mistake there. It really was. I don't think he knew how many banelings he had. He His observer is now... I should have checked his vision. With the army instead of observing, or, uh, you know, scouting, which... Uh, so we're three bases to four bases now. Yeah, um... <laughs> That's standard. Zerg always needs more bases yep. because of how the larva mechanic works. You need, oh, yeah. You need more hatcheries. That is your production facility. So, so what, does it, what, what does Z Croissant have going on at home? He's still pumping out probes. Oh, he does? Um, oh, he just started charging. Couple charge. of mortals coming out. Uh, oh, this fight. Oh, no. That's a lot of force fields, but they're not good enough. They didn't really... There's no escape path for him, so he had to recall. Uh. The All right, this is going to be a push. Yeah, and it's going to be a this deadly might, one, too. This might be bad. z Croissant had no business pushing without charge nah, with his he zealots. he really hurt himself there. Yeah. I don't even All right, he's like, going to post up here. I don't so. even like the angle that he pushed at. Yeah. Don't he, kill the rocks. I <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the only entry into the natural, but still. Okay. All right, all there's... right, he scared him off a little bit here. Yeah, but there's no splash damage. He could just go straight Zerglings and actually... All right, here this. comes, like, oh, eight there, high Templars and yeah. some Archons. Yeah, there's the splash damage that he needs for all there those Zerglings. Okay. And the Archons can soak a lot of the Baneling hits as well. Yeah, they'll take it. So he needs to put the Archons in front. Which he has. And then the Zealots. Little cannon. Little cannon at the entrance. Yeah, the cannon's not going to do shit. Let me get shit. a couple. <laughs> it, oh, it, let me put a couple. Oh, man. Yeah. No, it, he canceled those. Oh, no. He's like, it's, yeah. <laughs> I can't do cannons on this. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. All right, so. Oh. The Archons okay, do. He held off the Banelings quite he well. He did, yeah. Okay, here comes a huge warping of Zealots. Uh, not too bad. There's a lot of Banelings lingering in the back. He's at. Only he's, one left. he's pulling the boys. He held it. Oh, uh, he did actually. Those immortals. And re really those immortals not survive, creating yeah. troops back home, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, there goes a bunch of lings. Right as I said that. Yeah, exactly. What's the, <laughs> what's the follow up? More lings. Uh, right. He needs so to. He's gonna get the lings and the roaches to to rally here. He's got enough money to remake all of those uh, archons again. He's got one thousand, one thousand in the bank. Z croissant. So he needs to make those. Um, Archons really quick. Yeah. Let's see what he can pull out. I mean, he's a let, let's be let's be real. Decrosan is a late game player. Like he, he, I think once he gets in a hole, he comes out yeah, strong. I think Protoss against Zerg in general has to be a mid to late game thing. And yeah, Decrosan is definitely late game. He's got Storm on the way. That's huge. Big. Um, That's gonna help. But does he have any? Templar with energy? Okay, now he does. But he's making them into Archons. Save some. Oh, dude. no. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Save some. Yeah. The thing is, you need to make Templar, let them bank up their energy, hit the storms, and when they're out of energy, then you switch them over into Archons. All right. Same attack. A little uh, Ling Bane, Hydra, Roach. Yep. We're getting ready for... Yeah. Uh, the thing is, the Immortals... I mean, he needs to get those Bane Links. Oh, he, he just... Oh, there goes a lot more Bane Links. Yeah. 34 Bane Links. But the Immortals survived from the last fight, and he's still he making more Immortals. I think that's his... Yeah, he needs That's his backbone. Immortals. Like, it any is. Protoss army, you need, like, six to ten Immortals, and, like, you can push across the map. All right, here we go. He's got the oh. Archons for the splash damage. He, he's got, he sees it, and he's... Yeah. That... That scared him. Exactly. That, that scared him. So this is like, turning into a... I waited a, about a minute too long. Yeah. The Protoss army is turning into a tier three composition. Let me see the upgrades. Uh, okay. He needs upgrades. Yeah. He, he's. He, I don't see yeah. any upgrades. He's got 1-1 one, one finishing in eight seconds. But, all right. Zerg is repositioning. Oh, he, he's taking that sneaky base again. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know if... He, oh, he is going to scout it. What the hell? There goes the scout. Oh, my God. This kid and his oh scouting. Oh, my God. Nothing gets past him. Dude. Durandal is impressive. <laughs> he doesn't let anything past no. him, man. K 
cancels it, recalls a couple. Of, oh, I don't think he should have recalled the probes. You might need recall for this army that's pushing out. All right, he's gonna trade a base for a base. Yep. He's like, I'm not gonna let that one. He go can't right recall there. this army. He has to fight. So, oh, if he had sentries in this here army, we go. if he had sentries in, in this army, all right, here we go. Again, scared him away. Yeah. Oh. Nope, that, he's gonna take the so fight. That's so many banelings. But that's so many Archons and Immortals, too. All right, and Banelings are gone. No, oh, Zekrizant. No, don't. Zekrizant. Don't do it. GG. No, don't GG. Uh, I guess he is. Yeah, never mind. It is over. 69 to 85 workers. Zekrizant taps out. Durandal is going to the finals. GG. Into the finals. We're having a ZVT, boys and girls. That was excellent. That was a fun match of three there. That was a really good series. Really, right. really good. Series. Let me update the thing here. Durandal, two. Two to one. Durandal, excellent work. Zekrasant, it was a really great match. Captain Club, I know you're watching. I hope you're ready. Because <laughs> it's time for the finals. The finals? We're here at the finals. <laughs> you sound Let's really excited. If we can go three games again. Let's get some good matchups. I'm excited. This is going to be fun. As we should be excited. That was a great game. Invite to party. Durandal. Council Club says get the Archons up front. We were saying the same thing. Yeah, Archons up front to uh, soak the Banelings and all the splash damage that they do. It's, it's insane. And it was. It was then, big. And then after that, the Immortals just crush the... Uh, everything else basically what the zealots and immortals do the zealots will die hor horrible horrible spicy death to the banelings <laughs> spicy very spicy <laughs> um let's see here ATC killer can you leave leave the party oh yeah sorry so that I can invite you back to the party there you go. And I've got Captain Club. And uh, who else do I want here? Oh, yeah. You're in my chat. There it is. Durandal. This is going to be a good... All right, boys. Map vetoes. Map vetoes. What do we not want to play? What are you too girly to play? Just kidding. <laughs> Nobody knows the maps well enough. Like, yeah. Um, I would say screw it. <laughs> right. Oh, whatever. I mean, we could do a best of seven. Try to play them all. Uh, Vito Ephemeron. Okay, Ephemeron. Ask him. Out. Nah, we'll just do best, best of, of three. <laughs> nah. uh, um, that'd be a long, <laughs> a long time. Triton's dead. Zen is dead. Yeah, Zen is a quirky one. I feel like after a week or two. Um, they'll edit the maps a little bit. They'll just tweak them slightly. That's usually what happens. Yeah. They're going to see. They'll see, like, oh, Darren can just do a Liberator range attack, and it's, like, undefendable. Dr. Estuary, sup, dude? Good Welcome. game. Good games, man. That's uh, Zekrasant. It's his, uh... Oh, yeah. It's got three, dude, three different names. Re really fucking fun match. That was, that was really fun to watch. And Simulacrum. Yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. Yep. Similar chrome. All right, so we got World of Sleepers, Nightshade. We haven't seen Nightshade yet tonight. And Eternal oh, we're gonna see and Nightshade. Eternal Empire, the last map that we watched. All right. So what is it first? Uh, Captain Picks. Let's see what Captain comes out with. World, world of sleepers, world of sleepers, and this will be the first. This will be fun. This will be the first game we're watching of Captain Club, who yeah. did get a buy in the semifinals. Yeah, so uh, very lucky for him with how the uh, draw came out. But yeah. uh, you know, he's gonna he's gonna have his work cut out with him. We've seen some great games. Durandal played great today, so Looked we'll really see if good. Captain Club can come in, and uh, you know. He's going to represent Terran tonight. That's going to be it. Durandal says ready. Captain Clo says ready. Prometheum series number two starts now. 
the finals. The finals of the Prometheum series. I like it. I, I like the sound of it. It's, it's I do. Fun. I do. All right. All right. And after the finals, we will likely do a peep mode or uh, some team game. So if you guys are feeling saucy, come on, join the Prometheum in-game channel. Here's your player intros. In the top right, playing Zerg, Durandal. Durandal, woo! In the bottom left, he's playing Terran. Guys with guns, tanks, ships. Captain I haven't Club. seen a tank today! Captain Club. Captain Club. Captain Club, woo! Yeah. Nordy is saying, get charge a bit quicker. I would agree. Don't push we, before we 2 2. Yeah, yes. yeah. Nordy's, Nordy's right. Go ahead and watch the VODs and uh, watch the. Always watch your replays. Wins and losses, watch your replays. See what you did. Yep. See what worked and see what didn't. It's big. Yeah. Yeah, Z Croissant, when I played you on Wednesday, I pushed before I had 2 2. And uh, it would have changed things. It would have changed things in game three for sure. And that was our right. macro game. So we're we're trading some uh look at this, we got the uh SCV heading across the map in the observer. <laughs> SCV is gonna make it there way before the observer. Yeah. Or but the uh, overlord. Two two bait oh duh. Yeah. Yep. Duh. Yeah, the overlord is actually on a route to see and to confirm that he takes his natural base. He shouldn't go any further than that because a Terran can pump out two Marines that can pick off the Overlord. And this map does have high ground. Um, you're on you're on my vision, right? So right here, this is the high ground for the Overlord to kind of lurk over. It's like, the, yeah. we call it the pervert pillar. He just oh, gets yeah. to hang out there. And unless there's a high ground, a flyer unit, the Marines on the, on the bottom won't see him. So he's going to make sure that he's, well, he's going to see the Reaper coming across, okay? But he's got two queens, two queens on the way. All right. Yeah, these are very, very standard builds. You even have yeah, a. Yeah, it's uh, game one. They have some play here. Yeah. Nobody's going home after this. Yeah, that's true. I like this uh, SCV blocking the third base or one of the third bases that that he can take. All right, Reaper and a comes Reaper in. in. Reaper in. He's gonna get a kill. Oh, get him! Get him! Mm, oh, just barely. The legs doesn't. came right yeah. in time. All right. Queen in the main base, that's going to defend the main, no problem. And queen in the natural. All right, Reaper's done. Reaper's job now is to scout and not die. Because a, a Reaper that can scout if he takes a third base or if roaches are pushing across the map, that's the most valuable thing that a Reaper can do from now on. Don't do it. Don't go. Oh, Come okay. On. He's good. He's good. It's good. Once Ling Speed finishes, though, that Reaper is... Uh, Kind of toast. Lindo. Yeah. The Lings will outrun him on and off creep. So he's going to go home. I don't like that. Don't don't send him home. Let him chill at the third base or chill yeah. in the middle of the map to see what's coming. Or at about four minutes. You so just, he's going Marauders. Uh, Really? No, no Marines. No. Hellions, yeah. He's Marines, got some beefy Marines looking and Hellions. Marines. Yeah, it's the skin, I think. Yeah, he's got the uh, new... What's the name of the new skin? Okay, this is the build that I need to start doing. This is how I got to Diamond. Four Hellions, harass. Go kill as many drones. You suicide the Hellions in and kill as many drones as you can. And they will get the kills, man. They're, they yeah. will just spew fire. Fire cars. All over them. Fire so cars. I'm excited to see Everybody. these four Hellions move out. Go, 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 go. But you need to macro at home while you do this, too. You need to throw down a third base. There he uh, goes. Get a starport. He's got medevacs on the way already. Stim is almost uh, halfway done. So he's going to send the Reaper and the Hellions. And if he splits them up, like he... Medevacs on the way too, so... Yeah, he is macroing very well behind this. All right. Yeah, this Hellions is are going in. He's going straight for the drones. Let's see how many kills he gets. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be really good. Big kills. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. oh. Oh Get goodness! Him. Oh no! Oh no! Twelve! Solid. 
12. That is solid. 12 drone kills. Sadly, he's still ahead wow. in workers. 32 to 35. Yeah, right. Right? <laughs> okay. So he has to use his larva now for more drones. Yeah, okay. He's building four drones. So he has to replace those drones. And that is an army. You don't have unlimited larva. So you can only choose if you're building drones or army. He's got five more drones on the way. That yep. buys time for Captain Club. Club's to get. Got a, got a tank out, so, uh, he's got stim. Uh, he's got combat shields. He's got plus one on the way. He's this getting is, a nice little little army here ready to go. Yep. Those Hellions definitely paid for themselves. Hellions are only minerals, they which did. is kind of weird. They're 100 minerals each, so that's 400 minerals for 12 drones. I'll take that trade any day. Absolutely. And they, it worked well. Yep. And he's got a third base really on the way. I want to see him finish this wall, though, because if it was, like, pure Zerglings, he could still rush in, or pure Ling Bane. He could still get a surround on that tank and kill it. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't look like that. He's going to just stay home in macro. This is for the finals. Loser gets 20. Winner gets 40. Solid. Solid payday. It's a very solid payday. <laughs> For Look, a casual, game, for a casual platinum a player, yeah, tonight, no kidding, right? You're walking home with money. That's Free pretty entry. good. We want to see everybody in these oh, tournaments. Oh man, from okay. Here on out. All right, drop, drop loads up. They have stim. They're gonna have combat it's shields by the time they get across the map. They might have plus one by the time they get they get across the map. That too. would be huge. That would be huge. I would like to see better map vision out of Durandal. His overlords will see this. Yep, here they go. They're about to encounter the Overlords Just right now. Just barely? There they go. Yeah, you okay. Saw it. All right. So he's going to bring his uh, army back to the no main. No action. Oh, yep. They're, nope, they're not. No action. All right. All right, so there's a Hydroden that looks like it's going to go down. He cancels the upgrade. Hydroden. Thanks. That's huge. Load up. Get out. Big drop. Big drop. That is a huge Big pickoff. Drop. Now he's going to drop in the third base. Get a ton of drones. This is so annoying. As a Zerg player, I don't care. He didn't get. He didn't get any. Ooh, no, no. Load up, load up, load up. Oh no, he wasn't looking. He lost them all. Yeah, I don't know where he was looking, but he. he uh, I want to say it's still a good trade. Marines are only minerals, which fine. It's still a good trade, I guess. They're yep. both uh, been spending their minerals, which is nice. This is one of the first games where I've seen nobody. Yeah, very good macro. Astronomically high on their mineral yeah, compared yep. to someone. I really want to see Captain Club finish his wall, though. I want to see engineer. Well, he's got engineering bays. Where where are they? In the main? Yeah. Okay. So the engineering bays can be part of your wall. They're way back here in the corner. If you make them part of your wall and then two depots, that's a lot more secure. Yeah, it makes your upgrades vulnerable, but with the tanks, you, you're fine. You're fine. Hey, I'm not going to lie. His Supply Depot skin is pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> the skin for the Supply Depots? Yeah. Look at it. It's got the, it's got the like, it's... radar on it and sure, stuff. Sure, man. Yeah, you got to know how much supply you have in there. Inventory management is automated with this upgraded radar. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Whatever. <laughs> it's funny looking. <laughs> it, it's all about supply chain management when you're uh, when you're Terran. It's it's really important. Operations management. All right. Yeah. Over, over, overseers uh, scouting everything here. Is he? Where is he's he? He's got. Oh, yeah, yep, he is. Right over the main. Yeah, okay, that's what I saw. He even uh, pooped out a couple uh, changelings. Changelings are obviously changelings, and they turn I into... I didn't see that. Yeah, they turn into marines or yeah. zealots or zerglings. They? Well, they're gone now because uh, oh. Captain Club found them. Oh, good, good quick find then. Okay. He's going to clean up the creep. He's going to siege the tanks and put pressure on what... Should be his third base. I would start sieging the tanks now. One, one was out. One, you one can't fight out. on creep. You can't fight on creep. Don't fight on creep. Don't fight on creep. Siege tanks. Oh I my god. I'm push. Banelings are spicy. They have speed. And oh, one, one, one one is nice. out now. Yeah, that's good. One one is out now. Uh, for okay. Toronto. So good thing he sieged those tanks in the back. Three tanks is really good. Two is just not enough to push. So going home is a very smart, um, smart choice here. Like he refreshes his mercenary supply depot skin. All right, is that mercenary? Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, if he refreshes his zergling count while those tanks are still there, sieged. All right, infantry level two. His, infantry level uh, two and weapons and armor. Two, Big two two is a game changer. Two, two. Upgrades two, two. for uh, 
Sir gets 1-1, one, one, and 2-2 two, two is not on the way. Okay. So this upgrade differential is going to be a game changer. This is the time. But he doesn't have the army value to really push. So he's going to just secure no. a fourth he's base. Gonna a little drop. Yeah, he's going to secure his fourth base and just... Uh... Oh, he's got 3-3 three, three started on a beat. That's amazing. That's Big. really, really good. Okay. That's like me. I get my 3-3 three, three out as quick as possible. I'm terrible it, and it forget to build an armory. sometimes, but yeah, right? when it does work, it works. Yeah. This is a great drop. Just cleaning up creep and like bothering the Zerg. No, don't lose him. On, pick oh, up, no, pick he, up, he pick lost them. He lost them all. Got, oh, no. no, he got like eight. <laughs> He's going to lose them all, though. Those Hydralisks can, can run that down. Oh. Oh, what a hero. What a hero, Captain. Made it back. Big, big. Yeah, you're not yep. going to you're not going to nope. fight into that. 7 hit point medevac with uh troops on board. Oh, that's a brave man. <laughs> he got lucky with that guys. One. Guys, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> guys? <laughs> guys? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Man. Jimmy. Jimmy, come here. Uh, you wouldn't believe what I seen. <laughs> I seen it. I seen it. <laughs> There's bugs over there. Let's get them. I'm gonna go bug squash and the, boys. If you if you play the campaign, you'll realize that Terran is their space rednecks. <laughs> they're they're they ain't too smart, Jimmy. All right, what are you doing on a creep this far? Yeah, yeah he's you, doing it yeah. again. All right, there's some friendly fire there from that tank, <laughs> by the way. Do that right. pull back into the tank pull back to the tank this is a very good push six tanks yeah. and two two this is what i said i wanted to see some tanks please tanks uh, please unload that medevac please unload that medevac please unload that me medevac no. please unload that medevac he's gonna drop oh. that gets one hit he's lost six uh, he got he got he pushed too far onto creep and now the no there goes six marines down just like that, folks. <laughs> Unload your medevacs. Mistake. Oh no, he pushed too far and creep. Even with two two, I was really. Oh, and guess what? Three three is finishing right now. He's got to re recoup here. He needs to pull back. Recoup. Uh, three three is officially done. He he pushed. That's what we call About anti timing. 30, 30 he seconds. Early. He's a little premature on that yeah. one. He wasn't being pressured by the Zerg at all. There's no reason for him to push out. Maybe he's premature in something else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you mean? Like oil changes? <laughs> yeah, you can never be get get those every uh, every thousand miles, right? <laughs> every thousand miles. We get mine this weekend. That, hey yo. That, that's what I'm saying. A premature oil change, man. That's that's you're wasting money. You're wasting minerals. <laughs> nobody got. I love it. Nobody got unlimited Vespian gas. <laughs> premature pushes and premature oil changes on your tanks? Man. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't believe that anti-timing. He's got 3-3 three, three now. He's clearing up creep. Uh, what do we have on the way? No meta. Oh, he's ones. got no medevac, so he's going to, like, suicide these guys. Medivacs, two medevacs on the way. No, I mean, with, with this push. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. So he's just going to go hide in the minerals and see what he can get, but that was not worth it. So we're at six bases to five bases hmm. this is interesting okay that upgrade do you see that upgrade yep there's no reason to get that right now shockwaves enhanced shockwaves yeah you get that I, does he have ghosts out he will soon but i don't so know he's why out to upgrade first yeah but enhanced shockwave um, kills the energy on units. There's no energy-based units. There's no infestors. It's not Protoss. It's not Protoss. Yeah, there's what no the shields. He thinks he's going to go up against infestors, which he, he, he isn't. He's going up against broodlords now, which are going to absolutely Shrek him. Wow. I think those, he's, I think he's going to GG. Go. He's going to GG after he sees these broodlords. I swear to God. <coughs> he doesn't see these broodlords. He's getting surrounded by... They are everywhere. Yeah. These Zerglings and broodlords. I'm watching his vision. He's going to suicide into this fourth base. Or fifth base, whatever it is. <gasps> the minerals have oh, Nordy, I would add some Thors out. That's for damn sure. Vi Thor is here. Vikings and Thors, yeah. I, they say that Vikings are not a counter to uh, Broodlords, but... All right, here we go. 
Alright, the main didn't do as much as I thought. That's Not really, no, because of the tanks. And now he's pushing too far on creep. But nothing is touching the Broodlords. The bio's gone, the Broodlords will reign supreme. That might be the GG right there. Yeah, nothing has touched the, the uh, Broodlords at all. One of them no is... Air. Uh, no air units but the medevacs. Yeah, that's not... It, like, needs to have some that's not offensive good, man. air units. Uh, he just scanned. This is like the GG scan. Like, oh shit, that's a big army. So, <laughs> I man. might be fucked right now. <laughs> yeah, and the problem... Zerg had 80 workers. That's... that's uh... Oh, he's making nukes. He's making a nuke. I want to see a nuke. Oh. Oh. I don't think he's going to live that long, though. There's, uh, there's <laughs> he's going to fight for that nuke. Yeah, right? <laughs> this is a Hail Mary nuke. I mean, he's putting out Cloak for Ghosts first. Yeah, he 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 made the Enhanced Shockwave. He shouldn't have made the Enhanced Shockwave upgrade. That was a mistake. Yeah, he needed the, the Cloaking first. All right. He's going to fight in his planetary, and he's going to he's gonna kill it. It's going to kill a lot of the lings, but he doesn't care. Five SCVs down. Yeah, a lot more than that soon. Seven, eight. All right, this is the last hurrah. Bunch of banlings killing tanks. That's never good. All right, he's got a couple of Vikings out. And Finally, only one Corruptor. Yeah, he only had one Corruptor. Oh, no. Let the Vikings do their work. All right, that's six Vikings. That was a, he needed that right there. Yeah, he needed that about three minutes 22 ago. 22 SCVs down right now. Yeah, yeah. he needed air. Uh, this is so GG, but he's going to hang on. Maybe give us a... a when, when, know, when money's on the line, he's going until he can't go. That's, you never know that's, when you that, can make and that's what fair. he can't push. All right. The, uh... He's taking down uh, these... Boards. There's 13 Corruptors in the production tab, and a bunch of them show up now. So there goes... They're getting taken out, though. I mean... The yeah, Vikings are doing but work. there's 13 going to pop right now, right? So that'll handle the rest of the Vikings, even before these Broodlords die, I think. 36 is the total SCV count for that. Yeah. 36 killed. That's immense. And it looks like the nuke is halfway done at this point in the game. There's one ghost, though. He's right here, and he's shooting stuff in the air. Or she... <laughs> Uh, yeah, GG. There goes the GG. Durandal. Could not get the nuke out, but Durandal will take round one. That's what happens when you push before an upgrade. I, I think Ooh. Captain Club could have won that. Yeah, I, I mean, think he could have won that. that. We've seen that all tonight. Pushing before the upgrade in every match. Yeah, and we saw. Finish the upgrade. We saw Wednesday, yeah. The thing is, you start an upgrade and you, you, you don't really have a concept of time of when it really finishes, but before you push out. Drop some supply depots, make some workers, do a round of army production, and then check your upgrades. Yeah, I, I have actually upgrades on my um, command center hotkey. So when I hit four, I see my command centers and my engineering bays. And if there's two white dots there, my upgrades are still still working. All right, uh, I mean, what, I'm not what, very good, map? but I'm pretty much in the same boat. I'm watching my upgrades. Yeah, I, Right when those upgrades finish, I'm on the move. Yeah. That was World of Sleepers. We've got Nightshade and Eternal. Eternal. Okay, sweet. Eternal Empire. Bless you. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. Boogers, people. This guy, this guy has boogers. I bet he showers naked too. Slut. <laughs> so what if I shower? <laughs> I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy in the world. All right, ready? Randall says ready. ready. <laughs> Let's go. And we've got some readies. All right, game two. You know what? Uh, Twitch just uploaded this feature where I can run ads. I should run an ad. <laughs> just, just, just don't run an ad. <laughs> like right during the middle of the game, the pivotal. <laughs> like. All right. I might try to run one before the finals because I'll have a captive audience. You know, I'm gonna sell out. To, sell out to Jeff to Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Fucking Bezos! God damn it! No longer the richest man. Yeah, I heard that. 
it's not a big deal. Like, <laughs> oh no. All right. In the bottom left corner today, we have the Zerg. That is Durano. He has been a force to be reckoned with tonight. Took game one. We'll see if he can take game two. He has pushed through this finals, semifinals. It's been good watching him. We'll see what he can do in this match. Top right, though, we do have the Terran. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm a Terran player. I love Terran. Uh, so we got some SCVs working. You know, they're doing what they're doing. But Captain Club. Kid is pretty good. Yeah, um, man. Pushed he, a little early last round. He had a lot of opportunity. Did. The opportunity was there, which is not what we... We don't want to see people throwing away opportunity. Throwing the But games. we'll see if he can uh, learn from his mistakes and make it round two of the finals. Yeah, we'll see. Um, his macro did well, and I know he knows that his macro did well. So I don't think he's going to try anything cheeky or anything. He's probably just going to try to do the exact same thing that he did. His drops were great. Uh, you know, that first drop did really well. It picked off the Hydroden. And then he picked up and then moved to the third base and just kind of let them die to Banelings for no reason. Didn't even get that many pr uh, drone damage after that. If he would have picked up and, like, went back to the main base or something, it would have been just, like, ah, uh, it would have been a clown fiesta shit show for Zerg. So there were definitely, that was, like, probably the first lost opportunity. The yeah. uh, opportunity cost of more damage to be done. Running on creep way mm -hmm. too, it was way too deep in the, yeah. Way too deep in the creep, way too deep in the creep, 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 creep. Both players doing their standard builds, hatch gas pool or hatch pool gas, whatever, uh, whatever the Zerg did. And then he parks his SCV at the third base. Two overlords. To see that uh, timing. Going to check for a second and third bases at this point, which, I mean, he's yeah. he's Aaron. Uh, to have three bases, that would be suicide. Right? Yeah, right. It absolutely would, yeah. <laughs> you got to build the natural, secure the natural, which... This is actually a very hard natural to wall off. You have to have you have to go from the rocks vertically, basically, to wall off and secure this natural base. That's going to be tough. I, I would actually recommend building your factory down here, uh, and then uh, engineering bay, and then supply depots. Be interesting move. It would block it. And then you'll get your tanks out in the fight right away yep. to defend. That's big. Yeah. You don't want your tanks caught up. Yeah, if you like build your factory back here and then they like get pooped out of the factory and then they We saw how strong the look, we saw how strong the tanks were at the beginning of that game. I have to drive all the way down here. I got to go blow up some bugs or siege up. It takes 3 seconds game time to siege up a tank. That's a long time. It it, it in the heat of the battle it is very long. All right, so he pumps out two marines to get this scouting overlord. You don't want to lose an overlord. Uh, this early in the game. Which he's gonna do. It's gonna not gonna only supply block, block him. He's got two on the way about to finish. But that's, block, that actually. supply block actually really hurts him. There just goes one. There goes two. And he's still supply blocked. He's two supply short of being blocked. He can't even make two queens. Right? Queen is two supply, right? Please someone tell so, me it yeah. is two. Yeah. They better be. Damn, they're twe queens are good. All right, he's got the armory on the way. I wonder if he's going to go for a hellbat timing. That's a, kind of an early armory. So two it, Hellions it on the way. Oh, so he's going to do yeah. the same start. Four Hellions on the way. He yeah, but he's going to wait for this Hellion armory to in. finish. Oh, my God, he's going to go for a hell, uh, hellbat drop. Okay, so the thing with fire cars is that once you build an armory, they can transform into hellbats. Yep. They do more damage but less range. Which you don't really need the range this early in the game. Depending on what he, what does he have out right now? What I would like to see him push with these four Hellions as they are. Three Queens, four oh. Zerglings. This... Oh, dude, that's the thing about first game. He got such a great advantage. Cause he killed 13 workers, right? Oh, a he's lot. even yeah. He's even splitting them up. Oh. oh, did he, did he see those Lings? He did, okay. He did. And the lings are coming back. Those lings uh, He's should He's going to take the wings right here. All right. Tra tra he tra oh. transforms into hellbats, walking in. Kill those lings, lings right there. Lings behind you. Yep. Kill the lings. Oh, kill them. Oh, wow. Don't. 
Oh man. That was four lings that this, got away. This for could sure. be deadly. Okay, so they're sl Oh my god. Oh. They're running. He's got to focus fire the queens down, I think. Oh, he's going to go for the. Uh, be decisive at least, man. Come on. I All mean, right. only one. Yeah, but. That is taking damage. This got, is big. He's got 14 lings on the way. Three drones have gone down. Three queens have gone down. And now yeah. the drones can out. Oh, run away. Drones. <gasps> oh my god. This is GG. He didn't pull them. Don't pull he the drones. Pull them. 11 what drones. What are you doing? He freaked out. 15 drones. 15 drones oh, down. Oh, he definitely panicked. He might just counterattack with lings. Because you can't attack anymore. You have to counterattack. You have to go across the map. Oh, attack, attack. Oh man. Roasty toasty. I think that's going to be a GG. Oh, for sure. 22. That's a GG. Wow. That's how you come back after a loss. Oh, right my there. God. That's how you come back after a loss. Just a hellbat. Holy. A hellbat walk across the map. That's an, that early armory, oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's getting warm in here. Is it, is it warm that in your place, too? Oh, my God. <laughs> Feeling a little toasty here. Oh, it is a little warm. <laughs> Might be drinking, oh but my God. <laughs> that is really funny. That's. It. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. When you're in the finals and and you need to come back, that's how you come back right there. Yeah. You say, "No, nah, fuck you, man. <laughs> I'm gonna take this right here." So we're at around three again. Uh, what are we playing? Nightshade or World of Sleepers? Turn. I'd have to go back in the chat. All right, I'm going to use the restroom quick. I am going to try running an ad really, really quick. Just to Sorry, I'm going to use the restroom. To see, yeah. And, uh, that is only because the restroom. Yeah, and we're going to let the players take a quick break. Nightshade? I think Nightshade. All right, it is Nightshade. All right, I'm going to run a one-minute ad. Thank you guys for sticking around. We'll be back with the finals, Prometheum Series. Number two, finals. Best of three, it is the last game. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. <laughs> I think because I have Amazon Prime, I didn't get the ad. <laughs> uh, you, you subscribe to me? Yeah. Okay, if you're subscribed, you won't get ads, I, I believe. Okay, but we're back, right? Right, guys? We're back. Let's do it. We're back. We're back. It's not a bad time. All right. Everybody, uh... Here we get another beer and get peed. Game three. Yeah. 
We are doing this is uh, exciting stuff. Let's be real. This, we did say nightshade. This is this is a great tournament. It turned out great in the last hour of like to showtime, right? Yep. This is a lot of fun. I was right, I was I wasn't worried. You guys were worried. I wasn't worried. Maybe Tuesday nights are better. Good thing I have Tuesday and Wednesday nights off yeah, starting in a week. But, <laughs> yeah, Proxy Tempest runs their their platinum uh, tournaments on Tuesday nights. Uh, Diamond and below. I'm sorry. So I I think I'm just gonna like just randomly pick days. Pick days. Yeah, whenever I have off, kinda. Yeah. Um, December might be a slow month for for yeah. StarCraft, but yeah, we'll see. What days do I, what, what days All right. do I have? Nights Durandal again? says ready. Captain Clover says ready. This is game three. It starts now. I got to keep remembering to click the SC2 gameplay no webcam overlay. <laughs> So Sunday and Mondays, I have nights off. Nice. Okay. All Wait, right. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. In the bottom right, Zerg. Getting uh, roasted and toasted by the Hellbat push, Durandal. <laughs> was a good push. It was excellent. Oh, I was a push. In the top left, Captain Club with the strats, with the hot strats. All right, one to one, guys. So, this is it right here. This is for all the marbles. Forty dollars to the winner. Oh. Nobody paid an entry fee, but forty dollars to the winner, and tw the losers take taking home twenty dollars, which is huge. Yep. I want to say thanks for joining my Discord, so you guys can be in the loop when I throw on the next tournament randomly. Uh, thanks, to, blast, thanks to ATC Killer for being my guest host today. It's been fun. It's been fun. I'm just gonna keep throwing you money for the tournament. <laughs> <Cast them all. laughs> if, if, yeah, if you want to chip in, you, you want to be a guest caster. Um, it's a blast. The Wednesday night league I have has three casters, and they it works well. I I thought three casters is too many, but it's uh, it's really not. Banter is never bad. No, it's fine. In the early game, when they do standard builds like this, it's like, oh, okay, the Overlord's going across the map. Oh, the SMG is <laughs> going across the map. A Reaper. They oh, just crossed. Oh, my God. A Reaper opening. What? <laughs> Big surprise. Yeah. The masters of banter are, of course, Tastosis. Tasteless and Artosis on GSL are the best. Those guys are so fucking funny. I think we can work to get there. I love those guys. We can work to oh, get there. All right. Well, you got to start watching GSL then. Fuck it. All right. Actually, Home Story Cup is going on right now in Krefeld, Germany. It's like the coolest tournament in the world of any esport. Absolutely. Look, it's let's, amazing. Let's do, I, I think I've done all right tonight, okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think I've done all right tonight. You have, Better than I thought I would, to be have completely fucking honest. exceeded expectations <laughs> based on how limited you play the game. But I don't think Tasteless plays very much anymore. He still calls certain buildings, brood war buildings, like the uh, Citadel of a Dune, and the uh, uh, the uh, Academy or what? What's the Academy? Uh, I don't know. Um, there's a, a a Marine plus one like range upgrade in Brood War Starcraft One. Um, it's really funny. I don't know. Oh, so we, we, two quick expansions. So everybody's got an expansion out real quick. We're at the That's they, that went down at about the two minute mark, which is pretty good. Yeah, for, for Zerg yeah, for sure, good, but yeah, Karen right at two minutes. I really like Captain Club's uh, build order. It's solid. He's he does a one one one, a barracks factory, and uh, the two marines. The two marines that he is pumps out. He's swapping up. right now. He is swapping right now. He is swapping, but he oh. misplayed. He misplaced it. <laughs> uh oh. It's going to delay him like three seconds uh -oh. on the Hellions. Yeah. But yeah, he misplaced his reactor. He's going to go Hellions. It does. No, uh... no, nobody saw that. Nobody saw him misplace okay. it on the reactor. Durrani, um, I mean, he's got nothing to protect again against Hellions. Um, yeah, but Captain Club's going to wait for four Hellions, right? So he's got time. Yeah. And you only need Queens and Zerglings. 
uh, quicker to protect right. against it because you, you just can't get roaches out quick enough. Well, actually, he's got the roach warren now. He may be able hey. to do it. So he's pushing with four zerglings. He, just a scout. He's gonna see the yeah. uh, the fire cars, so he knows fire it's cars. coming. And they are dead. Yeah. Uh, I think fire cars are tough. <laughs> I, they're actually really weak units, life-wise. The roaches that are coming out right now. He does have roaches. I didn't see him. No, there they are. Are. he's yep. got two in the production tab now. But yeah, the roach yep, one just I finished. Uh, those shut down Hellions hardcore and Hellbats. Because Hellions do bonus damage to uh, light units, which are Zerglings and not Queens. But um, So even with six fire cars, uh, he should have four or five Roaches, which are slower than the Hellions. But on creep, they should be able to keep up. Still, these Hellions are going to get some work done. Six Hellions... He's just gonna run him in, suicide him in, right? That's <laughs> that's what's oh, gonna. No. He's doing the oh. hell. He's doing the hellbat thing he, again. That's not a good idea. This, this, no, no, now he can't outrun the roaches. The roach. Yeah. And that's a lot of roaches. What does he do? Does he just? I mean, he's, uh, oh my god. The, oh, dude, the I don't roaches know. might be done. The hellbats actually are killing the roaches pretty well. Okay, now no, 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 no. Nope, there it goes. Yeah, there it goes. He All picked, right, so this uh, game is going to go longer than yeah, five minutes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, he opened with Hellions in the first game, and now he, like, Yeah, can't do the same him. strat twice. He, he crushed him with Hellbats. You can't do the same strat twice. That's why best of threes are so good. That's why yeah. we, uh, before this series started, we should have asked them if they wanted to do a best of seven. We can't do it now, obviously, because... Whoever, I told you. I, yeah, I know, but... Uh, it would make yeah. the final long, but in these short... I mean, we only got three rounds. Oh, this game's going to go a lot longer. Yeah. They're going to play the so, defense now. You know, he saw that. Best now of three. It's... Best of three is just fine. But I, now, I now agree. he needs to lift off. Oh, he already did. Okay. I was going to say, he has Hell to bats are fire-breathing chickens. Change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They are. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so he did the smart thing, and he lifted off the factory, put a tech lab on it, and now he's making tanks because tanks Good. will be able to defend against the roaches now. And he did well with tanks. Yes, uh, absolutely. The yeah, the first game... Yeah, the, the first game that he... Yeah. The, ah, the fire chickens. We're going to call them fire chickens now. <laughs> fire chickens from now Which on. Which is <laughs> really funny because roasty, toasty chickens sound delicious. I could use a chicken sandwich right now. I could use... Uh, no, I ate a whole pizza before this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds good, too. Yeah, I ate a whole Jack's pepperoni pizza. Okay, we've got the oh, armory, obviously, so he can rock the upgrades. I want to see Captain Club do the he macro he did before out. and push as soon as an upgrade is done for that. Uh, and he's up, got 1-1 one, one on that, the way out. Uh, yeah, and with and Zerg is only now putting down their evolution chambers, so they're going to be way behind on upgrades. So if he pushes when pushes and gets damage done with 1-1 one, one, comes back home wait for 2-2 two, two, push wait for 3-3 three, three, push he needs to be smart with these pushes is what yep. we're getting at yeah he Upgrades cannot push before they're now. done actually I want to see is he only making army a 3 base roach push it looks like 4 no, racks no, no I, I don't five think so racks. 5 racks is big. That's that's normal. Once you get 3 bases, you want 5 racks, 1 factory, 1 start port, and that pushes out a awesome bio army, especially with 1-1 one, one and oh my god, 1-1's one, finishing right now. He's going to do a 1-1 one, one push with tanks. This may Dim, Dim is finishing right now as well. That's amazing. This is a very well-timed push. He's got stim pack, infantry, weapons and armor finishing within 10 stim seconds of each other. Time. Yeah, that was great time. I don't think he even really sees this push time. coming. He doesn't. Now he does. Oh, okay. <sighs> Alright. Siege up those tanks. Get the creep. He's making banelings. Tanks are sieging. Picks off some queens, almost. That's that. gonna... <sighs> He's gonna target uh, fire the hatchery. Run! No, 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 no! The banelings are finishing! Oh my god. There they go. I was waiting for the oh, bailings to go. Jeez. And that's enough Roach Hydra to kill these tanks and medevacs. Save the medevacs at least. Please save the medevacs. Get out of there. Oh, oh. thank you so much. Okay, good. Okay. All right. All right. Ten drones went down. 
at the same time, five five, five SCVs went down. Was that the third base, or where did that happen? I don't even oh, know. I was so enthralled in that, yeah. in that right. fight. I a missed. Zergling, Roach, Hydra, counterattack is coming on the third base. The I would have loved to see a Planetary Fortress on this. This is undefended. Yeah, oh, that's gone. no, 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 yeah. He can lift it and get out of there. What does he have back at home? He's done. We'll see. I don't know yet. He's going to lift off, save that third base. The tanks might be able to hold it off. We'll see. I mean, these medevacs he's... have to do some serious work. Yeah, the tanks go down. I think it's, the roach... I, I think that's going to be it. I think it is, too. I'm not giving my money to a Zerg player. <laughs> Just kidding. But... All right, he saved the third base. That's huge. Wow. wow. All right, like I said, in that first push, right. when, I, one, when, I, when I was Third saying one, one. save the medevacs, that's why you need to save your medevacs. Yep. Oh, he loaded up into the... Can go for a drop, yeah? Yeah, but that's such a bad idea because he's still right outside your base. Look, here comes the rush. You have to go home. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He better go home. He has to go home. Completely. He's oh now he's lost it. You can't base trade them any anymore. And he's gonna lose the third base. Eight SCVs down. Uh, third base gone. He didn't lose it yet. Whoa. Uh, he's not gonna Where lose the third base. Back to? Where is he pulling back to? Uh, he's going back the, home. The army that dropped. Yeah. I mean, he got so many worker kills. It's thirty-five to fifty-three workers. Yeah. Unless he gets oh, okay. All right. He I needs like to that. make this a big move. He needs to go. Oh, he's dropping in the main. No, 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 no. Go home. Just go home. You picked off a base. Go home. Pick him up again. Pick him up again. He's actually trading pretty well against the uh, Lings. 2-2 two -two is done. All right, now you pick up. Now you definitely pick up. Oh, get out of there. He took a couple of them. Yeah. Oh, he might be able to... That might save him for know. a few minutes. That did buy him a lot of time. Especially with 2 2 done. And look at this army. This army now. Yep. All right. Wow. I would have. Ah. Uh, wow. Is actually look amazing. at the map right now. This look is at amazing. All the, all the bugs amazing. streaming across. But they're streaming across single file. The Zerglings can. Or, yeah, the Zerglings are just getting shredded by this right now. All, right. all, those, all of them gone is, except for this little bunch okay. right he here. He just started Baneling Speed. Banelings do one kill. No, no, no. Yeah, Banelings sucked in that fight. He's going to push back. This yes. is amazing. He he didn't have Baneling speed. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't fight on creep, though. Don't fight on creep, please. No. Actually, <laughs> Nobody understands the don't fight on creep. He's got 20 we're... Zerglings on the way, but that's going to be too late. He's going to push into the natural, kill the natural, and all the oh, workers. No. That's not enough Lings. That's not enough Hydras. Oh, and, and the Stim. Oh, he's overstimming though. Please don't. Not like this. Oh, he's going to kill the Baneling list. No, no Baneling speed. No Banelings anymore. Oh my god. He's doing it. He is doing it. Kills, he what a comeback. Kills the Hydra Den. This is what 2-2 two -two does for you, ladies and gentlemen. And keeping your medipacks alive. He kills the spawning pool. No, no more Zerglings. I what, can't believe what I'm watching, folks. What, what can he make? Nothing. I cannot believe this. Captain Club with the rally. No beans. No That's beans. It. GG. That's it. Captain Club is the winner, everybody. <laughs> what a fucking comeback. I told you. Holy I shit. I, That's all I can say. 2-2 two, two and relentless pushes. Okay. Oh, my God. So, Durandal oh came my. home to clean up that drop. I don't think he should have done that. I don't know. No. He, if he would have pushed instead of coming back... He probably oh would have taken his god. bait before any of that happened. That was amazing. Oh my god, what a freaking phenomenal right. final. Moment of silence for all the Zerg players, please. Can I get some Fs in the chat for the <laughs> Zergs? in the chat. <laughs> Terran, Imba, why are they getting buffed? Great, great games, guys. Wow. All right, I'm just setting up uh, PayPal or Venmo. You got your Venmo set up? In Discord, yeah. 
That was amazing. Peak modes, ladies and gentlemen. That was amazing. That was a great game. There's ten bucks. Cool, man. Thank you. Nope, that was a blast. All right, I am. I think I'm gonna end this stream, get rid of the stream delay, and then we're yeah. gonna come back on, guys. So, uh, thanks for watching. This is tournament number two of the Prometheum series, random ass tournaments of <laughs> leagues and times, and no dates set and no, uh, like I don't know. Just keep on the watch. Yeah, join the. We're Discord. gonna give as much time as possible. Yeah. I'll put the uh, Discord. Actually, I'll keep the Discord as a uh, exclamation point Discord. So join that to stay in the loop when we run an another tournament. Not sure when the next one will be. Neither do you. I want to go in the general chat. like it that way. Yeah, we'll jump in the Discord. Actually, uh, join the Prometheum in-game channel sla forward slash uh, Prometheum. P-R-O-M-E-T-H-I-U-M. No letters or numbers. Or no numbers in there. Stupid idiot, why did I call it that? But yeah, that was a great final game. Great first game, too. I really thought Captain Club had the first game as well. But again, he he, he did 2-2 two -two and he pushed. and 2-2 two -two was the deciding factor right there. Absolutely. And then the no Bane speed, that was a big thing, too. Yeah. He knew it right away. Yep. He knew it. He yeah. should have had the Bane speed. They could not get close enough to the army, and it yeah. just annihilated all the Banes. Yeah, that was great. Okay, I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to join the Discord general voice channel. Anybody who wants to enter there, we can hang out and uh, play some peep mode. I'll see you there, guys. Thanks for watching Thanks, everybody. and playing. Bye. Peace.